The following is a live sports presentation of Glycod. G-L-I-C-O-D dot com. Glycod's coverage of R.J. Corman's Central Kentucky High School football starts now. And welcome to KHSAA uh, 1A quarterfinals action tonight on Glycod, live from Pleasure Ridge Park High School, where the Crittenden County Rockets at 8 and 4 come on to play the Holy Cross Cougars at 9 and 3. Holy Cross, uh, technically the home team in this game, uh, they are. Uh, having a new stadium uh, built, and we will talk about that at halftime with the president of Holy uh, Cross, Danielle Wigant. Uh, Wigant, I'm sorry, my apologies. And uh, she's going to come on and talk to us about that, which is uh, uh, great. And uh, I'm Dr. Todd Carter. Alongside me is Gary Satori. Gary, uh, we've got uh, we got a we got a big game tonight, don't we? Oh, this we is do. Third round action. This is a, this is what you absolutely wait for as a coach and and as your staff this is the round that's exciting this is where you know are we going to go ahead and have that donuts and hot chocolate on thanksgiving or are we going to go ahead and just go ahead and pack it in this is an exciting game two great football teams we're getting ready to see well and as we uh, talked with both coaches before the game i i really think both have their teams you can just tell by their demeanors that their teams are going to be at a high level tonight and as uh, as you mentioned just from uh, what we have seen and read about through our notes uh, uh, boy it's uh, I think it's going to be a good one tonight it should be a real close fought ball game don't you think I think so I think you know we were we were next to the players and and I tell you what they're physical I mean for 1A football these these kids these young men absolutely are uh, been hitting that weight room you can tell they're physical you know they're physical looking. All right. Well, let's uh, let's talk about the uh, game day weather because that uh, I didn't ask either coach about that, but that certainly could uh, play a little part of uh, what's going on this evening. A look at tonight's weather forecast presented by Interstate Batteries in Jeffersonville. And uh, the first thing I can say about the weather tonight is, well, it's cold. And that's uh, <laughs> it's, that, that about sums it up. It's 30 degrees right now. It will get uh, cooler as uh, as the the sun goes down. The sun's pretty much down at this point, and it's going to get colder as the night goes on. So we will see. That could be part of our storyline, Gary, just what, uh, w- how the, that affects both teams. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I was watching warm up. You know, when that ball hits those cold hands, you know, that ball gets harder. It's absolutely like a rock. And uh, this is going to play a big – in the passing game, both teams love to throw the football. And so when you have this cold weather and that ball gets, like, heavier and it's also – you know, it just seems like it's just – when you got those cold hands, it's like catching a rock. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this game is going to go and turn out to be. Well, we will uh, step away here from some of our great Glycod sponsors. When we come back, we're going to have uh, uh, you will have the chance to hear from head coach of uh, the Crittenden County Rockets, head coach Gage Courtney. And uh, Coach Courtney spent a few minutes with us uh, just a little bit ago. And uh, we will hear from him when we return as we count down to the kickoff in this KHSAA 1A quarterfinal ball game tonight, uh, live from PRP High School on Glycod. Based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come see us here at Cartown Kia or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 Bypass. 
For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. New teen drivers are at greater risk for car crashes, particularly at night and during the first few months without adult supervision. Checkpoints is a free one-hour educational program held monthly at the Jessamine Career and Technology Center in Nicholasville. It will help you help your teen be safer when they become a new independent driver. For more details, including program incentives and how to register, visit the Jessamine County Health Department's website at jessaminehealth.org. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of the Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. This edition of Coach's Comments is brought to you by the Prescription Pad, a modern pharmacy with old school values. At 465 Keene Center Drive in Nicholasville. Phone 859-887-2841 or go online to prescriptionpad.net. Coach, uh, you're into the the quarterfinals here, play, uh, third round of the playoffs. Just uh, your your team's uh, both health and uh, mentality coming into this big big game. Uh, I feel we're as healthy as we've been. We've been battling injuries throughout the whole year, and then it's kind of worked out. We built some depth here late because um, we were so banged up early. As healthy as we've been since the beginning of the season, um, we've been on a little bit of a run as well. Uh, I feel like our guys' uh, mentality is really good. We have a lot of confidence right now. But that being said, we got a tough opponent ahead of us, and we we'll have to play really well to, to have a chance in this one. Well, I've had a, a coach mentor say that you know uh, uh, when you're practicing and preparing for the playoffs, it's it's just that different level. And your your thoughts for both. The coaching staff and for your kids this week in preparing for this game yeah same thing we talk about have to get better every day if you're the same team at the beginning of the playoffs so you are each week then you don't have a chance to make a run so that's just been the focus as it's been all year we got to get better every day there's no days off we can't be tapped out if we're going to make a run or win this game we got to get better this week and the kids will respond to that all year but it's just been the same story all year long get better each day well and as far as the fans who may be watching tonight maybe haven't seen your team Whose numbers are we going to be calling? Who? What are we looking for? Uh, offensively, number 10 is our quarterback. Um, he was our district player of the year. He's a really good player. Uh, number two is Caleb Nesbitt, plays receiver. He'll make some plays. 17, uh, Preston Morgison will make some plays out there at receiver as well. 27 and 23 are Gatton, Travis, and Tyler Belt. Uh, they'll be running the ball and getting most of the carries. Um, defensively, number 26, our middle linebacker, Briley Berry, is leads us in tackles, does a really nice job. Uh, number five and seven uh, both play on the D-line. That's Case Gobin and Sammy Infestado, both really good players. And, and it'll do a great job for us. Uh, air raid offense, right? So we're going to see it uh, see see uh, see it flung around the yard a little bit, or you just use that to really set up runs. Uh, well, honestly, we're about balanced. We're about 55, 45 pass to run right now. Just whatever you know, wherever our advantage is, whatever we feel that's best for that week is what we do. Uh, Coach Barry, offense coordinator, does a great job of keeping us pretty balanced. What would it mean to practice on uh, Thanksgiving Day next week? Oh, everything at this point, it really would. That's that magic day, right? That everyone's trying to get to. So I. I can't imagine hadn't really ever got to do it so i can't imagine how it feel good luck tonight coach thank you appreciate you guys thanks been there one time If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance abuse crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The Lifeline works. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. For more information, including a list of local resources, visit jessaminhealth.org slash wellness. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens. General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. Flycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycon.
Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of The Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. Donating plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you, great for life. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. Pre-game in Glycod's uh, coverage of KHSAA, uh, the uh, quarterfinal ball game in the 1A uh, uh, ranks. And boy, this one should be a good one. Todd Carter, Gary Satori with you tonight. And it's time for Keys to the Game. Tonight's Keys to the Game presented by CSL Plasma. Become a plasma donor today and help save lives with two locations in Lexington. Well, Coach, what are we thinking? Well, I'll tell you what. I have been lucky in my coaching career to be right here third round many times. Only one time did we get to go to the fourth round. And I'm going to tell you, there is a common factor in these keys to the game. Number one is a little luck has to go your way. Right. Because we're looking at two amazing teams. They are already have a power offense and a power defense and great. But I'm telling you, you got to have a little luck on your way and then staying healthy throughout the game. And that's one of the both things that you asked, hey, coaches, how's their health? Right now they're both healthy. So you want to maintain that health. Sure. And then the last one I've always been a big fan of is how's your special teams? Are they going to go in your favor? And I was watching, you know, it's cold. It's cold. And I tell you, I think this might be a little bit mistake here. Mistake here might go a little way for one of the teams. I think special teams tonight is a key to the major part of the game. Uh, absolutely. Well, it can be can be any night, but boy, in a game like this, right when the mm-hmm. the, the the difference between winning and losing could turn in, any play, any, any play. play all night could and, happen. And we have had a great year of high school football. I mean, the weather here has been fantastic. Yep. So this is the, like the first time. I mean, it's dropped. It's to thirty degrees. I'm yep. telling you, it's cold. It's cold. And and this is going to be a big factor tonight because these young men have been lucky enough to be having a great year warm dry season and and all of a sudden this is the true true cold cold friday night for the first time right okay well those are your keys to the game presented by csl plasma become a plasma donor today and help save lives with two locations in Lexington. Well, we are going to uh, step away again here from some more of our uh, awesome Glycod sponsors when we come back. Head coach Eric Dick of the uh, Holy Cross uh, Cougars. Uh, We are going to hear from him when we return and uh, we count down uh, to the kickoff just about 15 minutes away from this uh, ball game tonight uh, here on Glycod. Plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you. Great for life. Proudly based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in small town values. And mom and dad and the things they handed down. I believe some of the best people in the world are farmers. I believe in insurance that protects families, homes, and cars. I believe in always finding a way to do what you love. I am Kentucky. 
I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. New teen drivers are at greater risk for car crashes, particularly at night and during the first few months without adult supervision. Checkpoints is a free one-hour educational program held monthly at the Jessamine Career and Technology Center in Nicholasville. It will help you help your teen be safer when they become a new independent driver. For more details, including program incentives and how to register, visit the Jessamine County Health Department's website at jessaminehealth.org. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of the Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come see us here at Cartown Kia or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. Well, Coach, uh, you're coming into this uh, this third round uh, and big big game here, quarterfinals. What's the uh, health of your team? What's the mentality of your team coming into this ball game? You know, right now we are uh, we're about as healthy as we're going to be um, mentality wise. You know, these guys are uh, we're just ready to roll. We're we're finally glad to be within the 502 area code. Um, been doing a lot of traveling here this last month, and so uh, just ready to go. You know, uh, but overall, I mean, you know, health wise, we're good, and we're just we're ready to roll. Well, and as far as rolling, when uh, when things are going right for your Holy Cross team, what, what does that look like? You know, for us, it's just, you know, uh, you know, just when, when things are clicking and things are rolling, it, our, our run game is really going for us. Our defense is, uh, you know, really applying the pressure. So, you know, it, it's just getting these guys to fire off the ball and, uh, you know, do what we need to do on a regular basis and that, you know, you know, cut away from the mental mistakes. So, you know, for us, it's just, you know, doing what we do best. Well, now, as far as what numbers we're going to hear or what names uh, the fans are going to hear uh, tonight from your club, you know, when things, when uh, again, when things are going well, who are we going to hear about? You know, you, the best thing about our offense is, you know, it's a collective group. You know, Chris Perry is definitely the catalyst and the one that starts it all for us. But, you know, you got Tyler Ballard, you got Joey Fouché, um, you know, Jace Hardesty, Logan McClellan. I mean, you got so many guys that are contributors offensively. And then, you know, defensively, you flip around, you still got Tyler Ballard, you got, you know, uh, you got Mikey Wortham, you got, you know, Joey Fouché, you got Maddox Pence on the outside. I mean, it's a collective group. I mean, these guys, you know, we are, it is a 100% team game for us. And so, you know, for us, it's not just one guy, but it's all of them together. Well, and as far as, uh, as far as the team goes and, and on, on defense, offense, it's one of those things. What do you see on that, the team across the, across the way over there, Crittenden County, um, that are going to give your team trouble and where you're going to maybe take advantage? You know, uh, you know, Crittenden County is a, they're a great team. And what they do is, you know, they, they, they like to spread teams down. Their quarterback is an unbelievable athlete. He can throw and run. I mean, they got a great running attack. They got great receivers. I mean, they have a great all around team there. I mean, they're here for a reason. And so, um, you know, for us, it's just all going to be about playing sound football, playing smart football, you know, playing to our keys and, you know, keeping all that speed, uh, you know, contained. And so, I mean, and they do, they got a lot of team speed. And so for us, just being able to harness, you know, and contain that speed, you know, inside the box and, you know, just making sure we don't have any mental errors on the back end and, you know, covering who we need to cover. Uh, what would it mean to uh, practice on uh, Thanksgiving Day next week for you and your team? I mean, it would mean everything. You know, I got to experience it one other time in 2019. Um, you know, we did it one other time in 2020. Uh, we came up short that year. You know, 2019 was a special year. Um, you know, Coach Bronger going out and me taking over the following year. It just it was a special year that year. And, um, you know, I, it just it's, it means so much, you know, the Holy Cross, the community, you know, all the alumni. You know, it's just, it's, it's just one of those things as a coach. It, you don't get to experience it too often, so it's a very special feeling. So, you know, that's what, you know, that's what we're hoping for. All right. Good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you. Thank you so much. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory-certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy-efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 Bypass. 
For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance abuse crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The Lifeline works for 24-7 confidential support. Just call, text, or chat 988. For more information, including a list of local resources, visit jessiminhealth.org slash wellness. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. Donating plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to cslplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you, great for life. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in small town values. And mom and dad and the things they handed down. I believe some of the best people in the world are farmers. I believe in insurance that protects families, homes, and cars. I believe in always finding a way to do what you love. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. Time for storylines uh, for tonight's ball game in this 1A quarterfinal game between uh, the Holy Cross uh, Cougars and the Crittenden County Rockets. Tonight's storylines brought to you by Kentucky Farm Bureau agents Sean Atkinson and Kyle Rowe. Well, uh, Coach uh, Satori, as we were, uh, th I was thinking about storylines. I figured all of these might might come up, and so just your thoughts. Uh, first, uh, just playoff preparation is different than regular season preparation. What has it felt like for these teams this week? Well, I tell you what. You've already completed, you, you've run your system. And just like, you know, Crittenden County coach talked about, he goes, we've already improved from the beginning of the year, and that's where you want to be. Your timing, you're making sure all your assignments are taken care of. You're crisp. So it's automatically you have your plays down. So you have everything down, your system. So you should be running like a fine-tooth machine. Like, I mean, nothing's, yep. nothing's off. But I tell you one thing. Now you got to have a snag. Now you got to have something that nobody's seen yet. You've been having it in a home back. You practiced it for a while, but you said this is important tonight. I, you're going to see something a little different, maybe, from one of these teams, just to go ahead and show you something that because they've had other coaches, they get three or four of your films. Yeah. So you see everything. You're preparing them, but as a coach and your team, you're just absolutely making sure everything is running smooth. And by the third round, you should have everything running fantastic. Cold. How will cold affect both these teams? We've already talked about uh, with maybe with some special teams, just what the ball feels like in the passing game. Anything else? I think, I think you're right. I think that football, that football feels different when it's 85 degrees and, you know, that leather is soft. But, man, I tell you what, when that cold weather hits, that football gets a little heavier and it gets a little bit slicker. So I think, you know, that's going to play a difference. But anything else, now, that first pop or two, it's going it, <laughs> to it's, feel good. It's it? not going to feel good. But, you know, you're dressing with the gear today. And I think, I think these young men are going to be at such a level. The third round, you are now ready to go. You are only really two games away from state championship. So you've already got a yeah. lot of teams that don't need to be here. These are the prime teams. They're ready to go. I'm just excited. It's just it's that first hit. Yep. You know, it's going to be cold. You. All right. Well, one, one last one. We want to be brief on this. Big game jitters. Going to happen? Gonna Not going to happen? happen. Going to happen. You're going to have to. Playing at this intensity, knowing what's at stake for next week, you are going to get that 
game jitters. Now, I'll tell you back in another thing, you know, when it's cold, that football gets a little wet, if they can hold on to it too, because I'm afraid there might be some football, you know, some fumbles too. So you got to hold on to that ball. Well, let's very quickly look at the starting lineups for uh, both uh, ball clubs. And as we uh, pull those up, uh, let's see who we're going to look for first. We're going to look at uh, Holy Cross. And as, uh, as I assign Gary here to watch and tell me who's, uh, who's out there on the, uh, uh, who uh, wins the toss, we will take our time to uh, look through this, show you those. Oh, actually, we're going to do the national anthem. So I'll tell you what, folks, we are going to break away. And when we come back, we will give you the starting lineups here on Glycott. Folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of the Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keen Center Drive in the Keen Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. Proudly based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. From Glacod, it's R.J. Corman's Central Kentucky High School Football. R.J. Corman Railroad Group in Nicholasville, serving the railroad industry since 1973. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance Agents Sean Atkinson and Kyle Rowe, big on commitment. Cartown Kia in Nicholasville, movement that inspires. The Jessamine County Health Department, jessaminehealth.org. The Prescription Pad, your local pharmacy in Nicholasville. Elite Building Products for all your window, door, and siding needs. CHI St. Joseph Jessamine and Citizens National Bank. Now to the field for all the action from Glycod on R.J. Corman's Central Kentucky High School Football. Okay, now we will look at the starting lineups here before this uh, 1A KHSA quarterfinal ball game. As you look at the Holy uh, Cross uh, offense there, I'll tell you about Chris Perry, the quarterback. Uh, 95 of 163 passing, 58% for 1,327 yards, 11 touchdowns through the air through uh, seven interceptions, but also has 22 rushing touchdowns. Now let's show you the, uh, the defense for the Cougars. And uh, Tyler Ballard, number six, is really the, the man to watch on this, uh, this defense. 125 tackles uh, leading the team. Now let's go ahead and show you the uh, Crittenden County. And then we better actually zero out of it here for a second. We'll give you, we'll give you them when they're back on offense here in a moment. So we will clear that off as we await the kickoff as it appears as though Sammy Impasato will, no, excuse me, that was Hardesty kicking it away and into the hands of Morganson still going. Morganson, far sideline, jukes, and finally run out of bounds after a nice run back, although we have a flag on the play. Now I think it's gonna be blocking on the back here. Uh, that's what I was looking at here, a little bit of a clip. 
So multiple flags on the play. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Crittenden County had a really Let's nice job of blocking the wedge blocking up there, just keeping their blocks and then moving the edge and uh, moving forward. Uh, but again, you know, if that Holy Cross player on their back, they turn, that's what the official sees, you know, a little bit of clipping, hit, blocking on the back. Let's go ahead and uh, put up the uh, Crittenden County offense. We might be able to look at both offense and defense here. So Crittenden County offense uh, led by Micah Newcomb, uh, the quarterback over uh, 2,000 yards through the air, 2067 uh, through the air, 27 touchdowns. He's uh, a second in uh, the 1A class in passing and uh, tied for second in passing TDs. And then as we look at the defense of Crittenden County, big thing there is they are plus seven on uh, a giveaway takeaways so uh, they are second in 1a with their 15 fumble recoveries and the man to watch there is number 26 briley berry with 111 tackles so newcomb and company come out on offense and Well, I'll tell you what, I was I, I got the privilege to coach against uh, Holy Cross last year and Ballard, that middle linebacker, he is tough. He he's he's a tough one to go ahead and try to scheme against. Yeah, the Tyler Ballard, 125 tackles coming in, 22 tackles for loss, four sacks. So the striped shirts still having a bit of a conference here. Yeah, it looked like personal fouls on both sides. Trying to figure out if that's maybe the spot of the foul or. So as we're here uh, just post kickoff, awaiting uh, this ball game to really get rolling, get all the uh, All this, again, striped shirts on the same page here, and we will be. Here we go. We will be set here. All right, so now here comes Micah Newcomb and the offense for Crittenden County in the shotgun and handoff. That's Travis, who will be the main ball carrier in the backfield for Crittenden County forward for a couple of yards. Yeah, it looks like they were just trying to do a little bit of an isolation play, just trying to see what they could get. I think uh, Holy Cross was just a little bit anxious and went by just a little bit, bypass instead of staying there on the line of scrimmage and trying to control it. So a couple yard gain there. But still positive yardage for Newcomb. Again, working from the gun. Looks to throw. Pocket collapsed a little bit, but found Morganson out here on this right side near midfield. Yeah, I was watching them warm up, and this is one of the things that they were absolutely going over and over and over. If this is what they call a simple hitch route. They're going to find open grass. In the air raid offense, and this is basically he's not really running a true air raid, but they find open grass and sit. And that's what he's trying to do. They're not going to go ahead and try to do elaborate type of routes. They're just going to try to get an open grass and just be able to quarterback just find it and just be able to find positive five yards, right? Positive yards. Don't go crazy. Don't throw deep all the time. But just find positive yards. So Newcomb moves up under center and pushes forward. And it looks like a small gain, but he's still going to be short of that first down marker. So yeah. first big decision here for uh, court, uh, uh, Coach uh, Courtney. Uh, what uh, what he wants to do here fourth and one. Yeah, that was a quarterback sneak, and i tell you what, I, Holy Cross is very physical. I think you're basically, they were just testing to see if they could get that yardage. Now this is smart. This is where special teams comes into play. Go ahead and let Holy Cross cover 80, 90 yards versus half the field. So Morgison set up 
at his own 40. And kind of a rugby style kick. A nice bounce and mm. muffed and on the ground, but I believe Holy Cross did recover. Yeah, that was risky. And let's see who that was. Number three. I'm, I think you're right. Yeah, that would be Fouché, if so. And he's hurt a one little of the bit. Thi yeah, one of your keys there, Coach, was not to be hurt, and that is Fouché. Yeah. You know, that's a rugby-style punt is very effective. If it's done right, you can sprint out there. That's a threat of the run. But then all of a sudden, the way it kicks, you never know really where it goes. It looks like across the field. Got a good roll for Crittenden County right there. Starting Holy Cross inside the, the – what, five-yard line? Inside the five-yard line. So Holy Cross deep in their own territory. Our Cougar has been deflated. Our Cougar has been deflated. All right. That will uh, take that from in front of our uh, play, our uh, scoreboard clock there, folks. Not to mention the fact we can see the whole scoreboard now. And just quarterback keeper for a short run to the right side. That was Perry. Yeah, Holy Cross loves to go ahead and have that dual threat, and, and so will Crittenden County. But that dual threat of that running quarterback and throwing, it's very dangerous. So you have to keep your linebackers in. First playoffs, they're just going to go ahead and run again, like Crittenden County run at ISO, just to test and see where they can go and be physical on the line of scrimmage. Perry uh, again comes in. He had 166 carries for 910 yards throughout the season and 22 touchdowns. So, yeah, yeah absolutely dual threat quarterback there. Yes. So, Holy Cross again, their first possession after Crittenden County was three and out. Run play, left side, short gainer. That was Ballard on the carry. Now, Crittenden County is running what we call a 3 3 stack defense it's like a three five three but those three down linemen and three linebackers they're coming and you don't know which gap they are i mean it's absolutely a physical defense and holy cross has to be disciplined on their blocking and being able to make sure that they're doing their proper steps if not that's where create a crease so holy uh Crittenden county can get there in the backfield but right now it's third and five let's see what they're going to do it probably a nice little play action or the flood route here during trips over here to the right. So as Perry directs some traffic, calls for it. Here comes the pressure, but it rolls right, throws out, caught just past the 20-yard line. And yeah. that was to Jace Hardesty out there on that right side. Yeah, it's just a really nice level route. I mean, when you're in trips, you want to go ahead and create space. And I guess this is the key to throwing the ball. Just make sure you're in space, pass the stick, to get that first down. Nice job of absolutely being patient by the quarterback on Holy Cross. So again, Holy Cross uh, moves the chains here on their first possession. Crittenden County, after having good field position, was unable to do so. Handoff, and that was Ballard again, I believe. Just a nice run there on that left side. A little bit slow on the one of yep. the linemen right there. And it was not Ballard, I'm sorry. Again, that cold weather, when you hit, it just does something to the bones. It's, it's going to take yep. a little bit to warm up out there. A tight bunch set. So Chris Perry, again, in the gun, calls for it. Second down. Sweeper here, right side. Crittenden job, uh, Crittenden County did a great job of being disciplined. It was a tall sweep to the to the wide open side of the field, and Crittenden County just saw it and absolutely closed it down. That was Pennebaker on the uh, carry, but uh, a loss on the play. Brings up third down. So behind the chains here a little bit. And of course, Defensive coordinators love it when you can make your opponent a little bit one-dimensional, right, Coach? Exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. Perry calls for it, looks to throw, pocket collapses, runs right, throws, has a man caught at the 38-yard line, finally brought down across the 50, and that's Fouché with a big play into Crittenden County territory. 
I love crossing routes, and this is one of the things that happen. You know, when you show in trips, that's three receivers on one side, you got that solo receiver on the back side. And I think basically what happened is that solo receiver was running across the field at the right amount of depth, and that's where it was just the quarterbacks being patient, seeing that crossing route and wide open, and just being able to connect for a first down. Second first down for Holy Cross, and the ball placed right at midfield. Empty jet, quarterback and keep. Quarterback keep, but read very well by the Rockets defense, Grayson James, defensive end, right in the middle of that. This is, you're definitely seeing some very good high school football. Third round, you are, this is the best of the best. I'm telling you right now, this is where these two teams are absolutely the best in their districts and their regions. And I'm telling you, you're going to see an exciting game tonight. We're watching an exciting game. We're seeing two disciplined teams. Defenses are both very well taught and coached. So second down and nine. Perry has trips to this near side. One wide receiver to the far side on the keeper. Scampers and near the first down. Great nine-yard carry. Yeah, the key is versus what we call a 3-3 defense, you have to get one of those three linebackers. You have to get him out of the box. And by showing that trips over there, what you've done now is you created that one linebacker to get out. So now it's three, it's three down linemen and two linebackers. And that puts five offensive linemen, a lead blocker, and that quarterback. So the odds are for running game to keep doing that. So nice nine-yard carry moves to the chains again for Holy Cross. Perry rolls right, throws, has a man. I believe that's Hardesty. Wait till he gets up. It is Jace Hardesty. And that's good for good seven, about seven yards. yards. Yeah. Yep. I really like the patience of the coordinator here at Holy Cross, and maybe it's Coach Dick that's calling the place. I really don't know. But I tell you, the patience and just being able to see what to do. And again, that Crittenden defense, Crittenden County defense is very good. They're very disciplined. Here comes the, uh, the trip wide receivers to the left again, and then we have a whistle blowing the play dead. And a timeout for Crittenden County. So that gives us a chance to take our first time out of the, the evening. Come on back. More first quarter action here from PRP High School on Glycott. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in small town values. And mom and dad and the things they handed down. I believe some of the best people in the world are farmers. I believe in insurance that protects families, homes, and cars. I believe in always finding a way to do what you love. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. For when you, as we return here to Pleasure Ridge Park High School, in this 1A quarterfinal ball game between uh, the hosts, Holy Cross, who are playing here because they're having a new stadium uh, built, uh, constructed up the way just a little bit, and Crittenden County. So Holy Cross with about a three yards to gain here, and they got that in a little bit more. Ballard on the carry, good for about four to five yards. Yeah, I really like Holy Cross's game plan against this 3-3. Again, you're taking three wide receivers way out, and so you're loosening up so you, the numbers are better. They're matching up for Holy Cross to be able to run the ball. Fourth down on this drive. This first started down. inside. Yes, they yeah. started. Holy Cross started inside their own five-yard line. So excellent drive thus far as Perry on the carry directs it right 
and it has a short gainer there, a couple of yards. Now this is dangerous when your quarterback, a lot of coaches in the past, you were so afraid to run the quarterback. Right. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, if he goes down, the rest of the offense is not gonna be able to click. But I tell you what, I really like the toughness in Holy Cross and being able to just, and was it Perry, right? It was Perry. Yeah. yeah. I tell you what, he's a tough young man. And I like the way that they're just not afraid to go ahead and make him the tailback in this offense. He is a threat. He can throw that ball really nice and be able to get that nice run game. I tell you, Holy Cross is, is very dangerous offensively. Yeah, Ballard in the backfield with Perry, rolls left this time, pocket collapses a bit, overthrows his man and in an interception. Crittenden County comes back the other way, try to see who that was. Yeah, that was a really, that was just a, a crossover. It's usually one of those dangerous things when the quarterback has to turn his body and being able to throw across the field against the grain, they say. And he threw it above the head, and that safety of the corner right there was able to pick it off. Now let's see Crittenden, dry, uh, Crittenden County be able to take control of this and see what they're going to do. Now I know it's the first, uh, second series, but let's just see if they're going to open it up a little bit now. So Gabe Keller, Gabriel Keller with the interception for the Rockets. And that brings Micah Newcomb and company back out on the field. High snap that uh, puts it in the bread basket Ooh. there of Travis. And I like it. a nice run there. No, it was not Travis. It was Tyler Belt. So Tyler Belt with the first down run. Yeah, it's very similar. Holy Cross and Crittenden County are very similar in the same type of offense. You know, it's uh, two backs back there, the quarterback and the tailback. And the tailback is usually sometimes maybe the lead blocker. But this was a really good, effective, just nice off tackle, B gap play, and getting the positive yardage, getting that first down. So first and 10. As Newcomb calls for it, handoff again. And this time, nothing, uh, nothing going. We got a pack of uh, Cougars there and probably going to be at, the, at best back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was just a really good job by Holy Cross's defense shutting down the uh, one-man run game. So just over a minute to go here in this first quarter. This quarter has gone by fast. It has gone by fairly quickly. Well, besides those opening penalties, which was one for each team, uh, really there have been, oh, oh, ball through the hands and almost picked off by Pouch uh, Fouché. Morgison was the intended receiver. Yeah, that was a really nice, what they call a deep crossing route. You wanted about 18 yards, 15 to 18 yards, and finding again. I love saying it. I'm going to say it pretty much a lot of times, but it's that open grass. And that's what this concept of the spread passing game is. It was a really nice 12 to 15 yard deep route. Um, would have connected, it would have got a nice little first down. Newcomb, two backs. In the backfield with him now. Now one stays, lofts it over. That's Belt. Belt with a gain of about five. That's a really nice middle screen. Very dangerous offense to be able to have in a passing game. You want to be able to have a good, nice screen game. That really got aggressive. Holy Cross is very aggressive trying to get to the quarterback, and they weren't disciplined to stay home. And that's a really nice thing to have is that nice screen game. That moves the ball. Now, it is fourth and five. So you're going to now let's go ahead and get a nice punt team and uh, get a kick it deep for Holy Cross to go again, 80 to 90 yards. So Morgison looks to punt it away. And that's the end of the first quarter. So our score on the scoreboard is uh, – the Crittenden County Rockets zero, the Holy Cross Cougars zero in this KHSA 1A quarterfinal ball game. Let's uh, step away, come back. Second quarter upcoming here on Glycod. Plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. 
Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. New teen drivers are at greater risk for car crashes, particularly at night and during the first few months without adult supervision. Checkpoints is a free one-hour educational program held monthly at the Jessamine Career and Technology Center in Nicholasville. It will help you help your teen be safer when they become a new independent driver. For more details, including program incentives and how to register, visit the Jessamine County Health Department's website at jessaminehealth.org. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. Back just in time as the teams are going the other way. And a rugby Ooh. style kick again, but this one way up in the air, nearly blocked for Preston Morgison. And. Uh, the Cougars will have great field position. Well, welcome back to this 1A quarterfinal uh, playoff game here on Glycod. I'm Dr. Todd Carter alongside me, Gary Satori, our analyst, Jeff Cooper, running our computer, uh, Steve Bird, our executive uh, producer, and uh, Cole Wiegand running our computer, our, excuse me, our camera upstairs, and uh, Cole, student at Holy Cross, nice enough to, uh, to help us out tonight. As just a just a short carry there, no gain. Second down and ten. Yeah, we forgot that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I'm <laughs> terrible about that stuff. Too busy trying to get some uh, starting lineups in the in the computer was what right. I was doing. So three wide outs come to the near side, one to the far. And Perry looks to throw right side, has Hardesty caught at the 30, or 45. He's at the 30, 2010, a touchdown. That's a great job. That was just a nice slant, vertical. It just throw it deep in that nice little angle. What a great job. Now it looks like we got a celebration call here. Something here, we got a penalty. So a penalty flag on the field yes. at the 15 yard line. Well, I really like that. It was a trips over here to the right side and just absolutely, I don't know, that's a sideline warning. So sideline warning and that passing play, Perry to Hardesty. That was just a nice connection. And so whistle blows, and it looks like Hardesty is going to try to boot this one through. Mm. As he does. So Hardesty kick, kick is good. And uh, that puts Holy Cross up on the scoreboard. Uh, seven to nothing. We are going to step away when we come back. We'll have more second quarter action for you here on Glycod. Based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. Seven to nothing, the scoreboard reads as Holy Cross strikes first after a uh, second, uh, excuse me, a first quarter with uh, both teams uh, moving the football a little bit. Holy Cross uh, doing it a little better, but then uh, throwing an interception. They come out here in this second quarter after getting the football back on a short punt. And we've got about a 55-yard pass play there for a touchdown. Oh, that's offsides right there. This is one of the things that, again, 
This is what we're talking about in special teams. This is a mistake that you'd see in the beginning of the year, not in the third round. You know, the player just bypassing the kick. So offsides, kicking team. Yeah. And going to move the tee back. I think the young man was just a little excited. Again, third round really brings out just a whole new level well, of uh, energy. And we uh, talked about in the storylines, you know, yeah. would there be some big game jitters? Yes. So ball moves back to the 35-yard line. And Jace Hardesty put the boot on it again. He does. Oh. And Muff, but then picked up, run back right up the middle, and still going. Perkins, Perkins finally brought down in Cougar territory. Fantastic run back. Yes, I tell you, there's that little bit of a, who has the ball? That's a, just a nice job of, of showing a reverse. Yep. Uh, you don't know. So that freezes up the kickoff team, but you still have to be disciplined and stay in your lanes. Right. And I think this is where Crittenden County has done just a great job of being able to, to get that crease and stay with the blocks. That was just a really nice run on the kickoff return. Really nice. So Crittenden County has managed only one first down thus far this evening. So let's see if maybe that gives them a little juice, and especially starting in Cougar territory. And That's hand, just... hand off. That was Travis with it, and he's met, met by a couple of uh, Cougars there. Yeah, this is the strength. I really, I, I know for a personal thing here, Holy Cross's defense of line and linebackers, they're really powerful. They're really strong. So Crittenden County is going to have to do something besides try to run the ball up the middle. They're going to have to throw the ball in order to be able to move against Holy Cross. They're going to have to mix it up. I really like that screen that they did in the past, but I really think Crittenden County is going to have to be able to throw the ball a little bit more instead of just trying to run it in between the tackles. So Newcomb with Travis in behind him. And looks to throw, pocket collapses, and a wounded duck comes out. I believe somebody got a hand on that as, yeah. as it came out. Yeah, that was a little bit of a, what they call like a bootleg. And uh, it was a little play action. But the defense, again, was right there in, right in front of read the quarterback. It. Yeah, and read it and just put a lot of pressure on him. All right, third and ten. So this definitely big, behind the chains here. Yeah, this is a big down right here. Now, Crittenden County, they have been used to third and ten, and they should be able to be able to just see what their passing game is now with this. I really want to see what they're going to do for a ten-yard pass route. So Newcomb calls for it. Here comes the rush. Man coming. Ball on the turf, but recovered. Uh, that, now was, this that was Luke McCubbins. The linebacker just eating up Newcomb there and uh, wasn't a sack, ended up being a short run ahead, but uh, nearly sacked, brings yeah. up fourth down. Sorry, yeah, I, Gary. No, that's okay. I mean, you know, the thing, the, Crittenden County's offensive line has not faced, in my opinion, the strength of Holy Cross's defensive line. And I think this is a big mismatch. And I think Holy Cross has got the edge when it comes to the trenches. So Morgison standing at the 50 as Crittenden County could not take advantage of that great kickoff return. I'm going to try to play a little field position, though. This one a rugby-style kick. Rolls down. Going to be dead at the 10-yard line, and that uh, gives us a chance to take a very quick break. Let's step away, take a uh, quick break here, and when we come back, more second quarter action here on Glycott. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 Bypass. 
For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. First play from scrimmage there after the uh, punt was about a two-yard run by Chris Perry. It's going to bring up second and eight. And, uh, Coach, you wanted to say something about that, that punt and trying to pin Holy Cross back, I believe? Yeah, I think, you know, the thing is is that, you know, when you have that type of rugby punt, you want to be able to lay that ball with your laces on it perfect. And I thought they did a great job this time. Oh, nice run. Nice run. Still going across the first down line. That's Tyler Ballard with a uh, nice run there. Fifth first down for the Holy Cross Cougars. Yeah, and, and again, the punter did a really good job of being able to have his laces on the ball and kicking it low. Mm -hmm. the, past, the, the last time he was too much pressure and kicked it up too high, and I thought this time he did kick it low. You're going to have to keep Holy Cross deep and make them earn that touchdown because I'm telling you, you want them inside the 20 every time. So Perry calls for it. Reverse. Uh, reverse, hard to see around the left side. He finds the edge, has open ground, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Pay dirt and the touchdown. Yeah. That is Hardesty again. Jace Hardesty with 75 yard his run. 75 yard rushing touchdown. Absolutely perfect timing on this, being patient. Just a nice showing some ISO, and then all of a sudden here comes the young man on the slot coming around for a nice reverse. Absolutely, downfield blocking was perfect. The speed was just there. Great job by Holy Cross. Beautiful, beautiful reverse. As Jace Hardesty with Perry to hold, lines up for the extra points. And uh, that's his 38th made extra point of the uh, season and uh, gets that one. And uh, that takes us to our score, Holy Cross 14 and Crittenden County uh, nothing. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, catch up on a break we need to, uh, to catch up on from the first quarter. And when we return, we'll have more second quarter action here for you on Glycott. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance abuse crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The Lifeline works. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. For more information, including a list of local resources, visit jessaminhealth.org slash wellness. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. As we return, uh, 14 to nothing, our scoreboard now, Holy Cross up two touchdowns. It's been a bit of the Jace Hardesty, Hardesty show as he will put the boot on the ground. Oh, nice hop, but fielded well at about the 32 and then popped. Let's see who that up back was. And that was uh, Seth Guess. That he, was, he handled the ball well, but that could have gone the other way yeah. as well. And actually, that was a very smart move. You do not want to kick that ball deep to Crittenden County because they do a great job on their return team. So that was a really good adjustment by Holy Cross to be able to just kick it down and dirty, get a little high pop on it. But this is where you want to be able to do, make adjustments. And Holy Cross did a good job on the kickoff team because you do not want to kick it deep to this team. So Newcomb and company back out. And I, I might have missed one, but I believe they've only had one first down have the Rockets. Counter Trey. And this time Newcomb carries. He's got the first down and a little more into Holy Cross territory. Oh. Wrestled out of bounds. Two Down flags come in as a, yeah, a bit of a high tackle there. So that's going to tack on a bit more. Yeah, that's what we call a counter tray. Um, it's a counter. The backside guard and tackle pull. 
and go ahead and just try to create a really nice gap scheme. They did a good job, the quarterback, getting that so many yards. But I really think this is going to go ahead and go against Holy Cross, grabbing that it, neck. It was. It was a face mask against yeah. uh, Holy Cross. That's their fourth penalty of the ball game by my count. Now Newcomb has Belt in the backfield with him as getting yeah, lined up and they got the play from the sideline. Yep. A little check with me. Belt moves from right to left. And simple pass out here to the left to Caden Howard. And uh, did I see another flag come in? No, that I was maybe that yellow one. hat. That was just a man down there with the yellow <laughs> hat is what I saw. Yeah. This is what they call like a tunnel screen. Just a really quick, you know, throw it out to the wide receiver. And uh, Holy Cross is not going to go ahead and get fooled by that. They covered the ground really nice and being able to go ahead and get zero yards for that. So Newcomb looks to roll right, has a man out there caught by Nesbitt. Yep. And that's out near the 20 yard line. Let's see uh, where it's placed it's exactly. Got about five yards on that. Yeah, about that. Brings up third down though. Third and manageable, certainly. I'm gonna say about, yeah, so gonna say about four. four so yeah. third and, uh, third and uh, they say in seven, I say long six. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's, it's certainly a uh, makeable third down here for Newcomb and company for the Rockets. And Newcomb on the keeper, and he is met in the backfield by Ballard. Yeah, I tell you, shut the door. Holy Cross's defense, uh, just their at box is very oppressive and they're very strong. I really thought, again, they were going to go ahead and maybe put some pressure, uh, you know, on that that's the slot, the inside receiver. I think I saw some space there, and yeah. I thought maybe that they were going to go ahead and throw it to him because that safety's a little far back. But, again, you know, they got such a good positive run on that counter trade. Maybe he thought maybe there was something else there to call. So brings up fourth down, and... Rockets are going to go for it. We've got a whistle and a timeout. Yeah, we got a penalty flag. Do we have a penalty flag? Yeah, we have a penalty flag. Sure do. I thought we had a timeout, but it's a penalty flag. That's going to go against the Rockets. That's just their second. Now, I know it's inside the 30. You're down 14 to nothing. You know, I know it's third, it's third round, so you, I, right. he just, he's just gonna have to go for it. Yeah, uh, I, I think they're, I believe they are. Yeah, yes. As the, as Preston Morganson, I was watching him. He, he went, ran out to the right side. It's going to be Newcomb and the offense in charge here. But here comes the defense. Pocket collapses and brought down is Newcomb. This one is a sack. Back at the 38-yard line, yeah, 37. They'll place it, but you ask your offense, you ask your offensive line to give you three seconds. He's not going to get it tonight, right? You know, so he's going to have to be able to look at a quicker level routes. He was going to a deep vertical route, so a deeper pass routes. You just can't do this again against this defensive line, this front for Holy Cross. They're going to have to look for shorter passing game. So turnover on downs there by the Rockets, and that puts the Rocket defense back on the field. Now, Perry, hard run there on the left side, ahead for about three, out to the 40. Yeah, you got Ballard leading up number six, that middle linebacker. You got him as a fullback. And he's just leading up on those linebackers. He's just an absolutely person you want to follow behind. He'll open up and be able to block those linebackers. 
Well, and across the season, he had 128 carries for uh, a little over 800 yards. So you never know, too. You no, mix you it up. You mix that in once in a while, you're going to hand him the ball, too, I yeah. would think, for Holy Cross. And there it is. Like right there, there it is right it there. Dark. Yep. Ballard, a short gainer, gets it out to about the 44, it looks like. We'll see where the ball is placed. I think it's going to be short. Maybe it's going to be uh, third and seven. I mean, third and three. Yeah, it looks about third and three. Yeah. Ball on the 44-yard line. Well, you did a good job on that last play call. What do you think? Oh, no, I'm not. I, <laughs> I, I got no Tony Romo in me. That was just blind luck. <laughs> well, you did Three wide job. outs to the far side, one to the near. Ballard in for protection, but here comes uh, the defense and throwing it through the hands of Logan McClellan. McClellan couldn't haul it in. Yeah, what I like about him, he's an unselfish quarterback. You know, Perry, he's, he's going to go ahead and throw it. He had a chance to go ahead and keep it and get that first down, but he's very unselfish. He likes to throw it to his teammates. I like this team. I think they have a very special bond. Uh, it shows because, again, he could have – taken off and run and got that three yards. But he wanted to see his teammates be positive and successful. So punt forthcoming. And that is Wortham, who will boot the ball away. High kick after a run to the right. Oh, it takes a bounce uh, for the Rockets, but down at the... 23-yard line. Call your attention to the ticker running at the bottom of the screen with 3.11 left here in the first half. Go ahead and uh, a little promo on our halftime. At halftime, uh, Danielle uh, Wiegand, the uh, president of Holy Cross and uh, Kent Fouché, the athletics director for Holy Cross, are going to come and uh, uh, talk with me a little bit about a capital campaign they have going on, building project. Rockets back on offense, handoff, inside run there. And that was Travis on the carry. Again, that's a counter trade play. That's their positive play. That's their go-to play right now. That seems to be the only thing that's working on the run game right now. Now, that puts it second and about six. Uh, I think, you know, again, short passing game. Move the ball, control it. Don't let Holy Cross get a chance to have that ball again. And you're right. With two and a half minutes left, you certainly have time to move the ball and also Chance to maybe score going into uh, halftime. Newcomb ends up pulling it down, and in comes the defense. A flag comes in. Yeah. And that was Tyler Ballard on the sack. That's his uh, fifth sack of the year, although we'll see what. It looks like it's going against Holy Cross. It sure face does mask. look like it's going against Holy Cross. Face mask, fifth penalty of the half. So incidental face mask, just a five yard. And it makes it second and nine. I wonder, uh, again, I, I really think, you know, with 204 with a running clock right now, I still want to be able to move the ball positive, throw short yardage. Newcomb rolls, pitches, is. and a catch made. And it was incomplete, yeah. Oh. Gobin was the uh, intended receiver. I saw that ball come out. I wasn't sure if they would call it a catch or not. Yeah. So incomplete pass. Okay. Now, it's 148. You definitely want to do a run clock here because, I mean, if you're talking game management here, I know you're down 14, right. but you sure don't want Holy, Cro Holy Cross to get the ball. Nope. So you're going to run this ball, and then you're going to hold on to the clock as much as you can when you punt the ball. But let's see what they do here. Newcomb 
Looks to throw. It's that screen again, this time to Nesbitt. Nesbitt has the first down and more. Still going and in to Holy Cross territory. Well, that works too, Coach. Yeah, I tell you what, these screens are very effective against Holy Cross. They need to keep doing it. I tell you, it was a really great call by Crittenden County. And there was a line of rockets there for Nesbitt to run behind. Well executed. And waiting for the chain crew to go ahead and adjust and get get adjusted here. And now the clock is running. Travis out here to the right, and that ball was tipped. The yes. intended receiver looked like Nesbitt again, but uh, Newcomb had that tipped as the ball came out. Good, uh, good for the Holy Cross defense there. Yeah, the left defensive end, the right oh, yeah. offensive tackle did not get enough depth. And went across his face, so he got into the path of the quarterback there, and the, quarter, and the defensive end was there to go ahead and knock that ball down a little bit or get, get patted down, get his hands on it. So the ball, tip of the ball at the 50-yard line. Rockets facing a second and 10 here, trailing by 14. Three wide outs to this near side, one to the far. Newcomb looks to pitch it and uh, throws it to the Fouché on the opposing team. Two flags come in, still going 40 30, and finally brought down at the uh, 22 yard line. So, would be uh, see what did you get a chance to see what maybe the penalty was there? I didn't. I, I saw two flags come in in the same area, yeah, and the intended receiver for. The Rockets ended up on the dirt, in, in the dirt. So I'm not so sure if uh, this isn't coming back. In fact, the body language says it is absolutely coming back. I'll tell you what, we have a, one of the uh, legends uh, officials up here in the box with us. He said it's a blindside block. Blindside so block. Yeah, I was over there kind of looking over at him, and he was showing the signal. He said, told me blindside block. So a legal block. Blindside block, and so it will be Holy Cross ball. And, but they will have the ball back at the 28-yard uh, line. And that penalty, again, going against Holy Cross. That's their sixth penalty of the half uh, yeah. against just two for the Rockets. Perry with it. Good, strong run. He's and, physical. Yep, absolutely. About seven, seven yards. We'll see where they place it. Boy, there's that again. I, I tell you what, I absolutely love this dual threat. You know, you got a massive fullback or the number six, Ballard, and then the quarterback is, you know, just a dual threat back there. There it is. There's the two punch right there. There you go. And Ballard carries it into Rockets territory across that. Got a, got an injured 50 yard line. counter player. Player down yep. for Crittenden County. And uh, there's a timeout from Holy Cross. So we will uh, we will take a timeout. We will take a timeout as well. When we come back, uh, we'll have the last of the uh, second quarter here on Glycott. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance abuse crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The Lifeline works. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. For more information, including a list of local resources, visit jessaminhealth.org slash wellness. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. As Grayson James, a young man uh, down on the field for the uh, Rockets, a timeout on the on the field for that injury, and a coach with uh, uh, just a. a Half a second more than 27 uh, to go here in this uh, in this half. I uh, think Holy Cross is going to take a couple chances at it here. Try to try to 
pad the score a bit? I think you have to. Or go you know, to the locker room. You, yeah, you, you have to. You want to try to. Yeah. The only thing I'm a little worried about, if they go for a field goal, this right side, Crittenden County has been on Holy Cross's right side. Crittenden County has gotten so close to being able to block mm, this extra okay. point. I think they're going to have to make some kind of adjustment here or else you're going to see the, uh, they're, they're, they're going to block that extra point or maybe block this field goal if they get a chance. So uh, I definitely, with uh, 27 seconds, I think it's just you go ahead and do everything you can to get some points on the board. Get some points. Okay. Yeah. That's one of those I always like to pick the mind of a, of a coach just to know, you know, do you, do you just take it to the locker room? Do you try to uh, attack? I'm going to attack. I'm going to go ahead gotcha. and get as many points as I can to psychologically just have an advantage. So Perry in the, in the gun. Gets it out to Fouché. Fouché out of bounds. ends up out of bounds Smart. at the 44-yard line. Yeah. You're telling your players, get out of bounds. This is our timeout. This is our extra timeout. You're stopping that clock. Any chance you can. So that's what they call a really quick now screen, and he just caught it and got as much as you could and then got out of, got out of bounds. Smart play right there. 23 seconds. Second and four, 23 seconds left here in this first half. As I said, the first half's gone pretty quickly, really. It's sure. Not too many clock stoppages. Three wide outs to the far side, one to the near. Perry, flush from the pocket, loads up, oh, throws it oh, downfield into triple coverage. Oh, and Crittenden County, that was yeah, Seth uh, Guest, couldn't good. quite come up with it. He had his hands on it, and the ball fell harmlessly to the dirt. That was a dangerous throw. You know, it's just one versus three. The odds are going to go against you if you're going to go ahead and throw into three defensive players, you know, defensive yep. backs. Uh, I think that was a not – I wish he could – he probably wants that back and say, you know, maybe that wasn't the wise choice. They got lucky and, and the ball fell to the ground. Stick to the game plan of throwing it out of bounds, getting out of bounds. Well, that, that play took a good eight seconds off the clock. Now Perry – Runs right up the middle and timeout. has a first down and then a timeout <laughs> called. How did he call it? Well, there it is. Yep. So timeout with 9.8 seconds left. We will keep it here during this timeout. Yeah, you got to have those officials near you at this cross, you know, their sideline official. This is where you got to be talking to him. Say, look, you know, we get this first yardage. You've got to look for me. I want to call a timeout. So 9.8 seconds left and a 14-0 lead. Holy Cross with the, the football. Tell you who we are again, the Glycod crew here tonight. Jeff Cooper's running our computer, and uh, Cole Wiegand is uh, upstairs running the camera. Gary Satori, Coach Gary here uh, to my left, our analyst, and I'm Dr. Todd Carter, our executive producer tonight. Steve Bird in this 1A quarterfinals ball game tonight. It's third round of the KHSA playoffs. Quads. Nope, there's a wide receiver. So three man. wide outs to the far side. Seeing man coverage down here. One to the right. Perry calls for it, rolls left. Here comes the defense. Comes back right, directs traffic, decides to tuck, run, slides, so and uh, not out of bounds. And that leaves 1.6 seconds left. That's cold right now, and I don't know if the field goal kicker is going to have it, the strength. So they're either going to go ahead and go for a field goal here, or they're just going to go for it. Well, I see Hardesty started out. We've got a timeout on the field again. Hardesty... Uh, was headed out that way, he would be the field goal kicker. He's three of four on the season. Yeah. You but this to. is going to be a long one, that's for sure. Right. Now, whoever's coaching the front is better be making adjustments because that pressure, Holy Cross's right side, 
Crittenden County's left side, they're very close of blocking this kick. So Hardesty does appear to be headed out. And Perry is the holder. And Jacobs, I believe, will be snack. No, I'm sorry. Got the wrong guy. So Perry. And a kick is up. Kick is good. Wow. Nice job. Hardesty with the 42-yard field goal caps off the first half of action as the Holy Cross Cougars go to the locker room at halftime up 17 to nothing over the Crittenden County Rockets. Uh, we will step away here from some of our great Glycod sponsors, and when we come back, uh, we will have a chance to uh, talk with uh, Danielle uh, Wiegand, uh, the president of Holy Cross, and Kent Fouché. But we will also have the Centra Credit Union halftime report as we go through the halftime, talk about uh, this first half scoring and action. So stay tuned for our halftime show here on Glycod. Based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of the Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve them. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in small town values. And mom and dad and the things they handed down. I believe some of the best people in the world are farmers. I believe in insurance that protects families, homes, and cars. I believe in always finding a way to do what you love. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Glycod on YouTube is Kentucky Anna's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycod. New teen drivers are at greater risk for car crashes, particularly at night and during the first few months without adult supervision. Checkpoints is a free one-hour educational program held monthly at the Jessamine Career and Technology Center in Nicholasville. It will help you help your teen be safer when they become a new independent driver. For more details, including program incentives and how to register, visit the Jessamine County Health Department's website at jessaminehealth.org. Tonight's Halftime Report is brought to you by the Jessamine County Health Department. Find out how they protect, promote, and improve the health and wellness of our community. Visit jessaminehealth.org. Halftime here at uh, Pleasure Ridge Park High School where Holy Cross uh, leads Crittenden County 17 to nothing. And... Uh, we are here at uh, Pleasure Ridge Park High School because Holy Cross is uh, undergoing a, a capital campaign and a building project. And uh, here on Glycod, we're uh, just, uh, it's such a pleasure uh, for me to welcome Danielle Wiegand here, the president of Holy Cross. Uh, uh, and uh, she's gonna tell us a little bit about the capital campaign that led up to this building project and what's, uh, what's to come. And we're gonna show some slides of this while we're at it. 
Thanks, Todd. Yeah, it's exciting. It's an exciting time to be a part of Holy Cross High School. Um, we are so thankful to Pleasure Ridge Park for allowing us to use the field because there's exciting things happening on our campus. Uh, just these past couple weeks, we have been completely tearing down our old stadium and starting the process of something that's been talked about for several years. Uh, we're in the midst of a five and a half million dollar campaign. We're almost finished closing that out and three phases to the campaign. The first was our classroom renovations and our school building renovation, which was completed last year. Um, our, the third part of our capital, second part of our capital campaign is additional financial assistance for families who qualify. And the third and final, which we're doing now, is the athletic complex. And uh, I mean, it's just going to be amazing. It's going to be a great place for our kids, our football, field hockey, girls soccer, boys soccer, to really call home and for our families to really enjoy gathering together. Well, and I was going to ask, because we're seeing some pictures of, of that outdoor complex, what uh, what all else is, is going on? Because it sounds like there's a lot that's going into it, not just what these pictures are, we're showing, correct? Right. So a great entrance. So you know that you're in an awesome place when you come in. Uh, a great gathering space that we're calling the plaza area. Um, a really cool tunnel in the middle of our home bleachers that all of our teams will be able to run through and get out on our field. Brand new bleachers, press box. Um, it's just going to be awesome. And it's it's just kind of the beginning of the outdoor um, initiative at Holy Cross. Well, and let's uh, tell folks also what else is, is going on at Holy Cross. I know uh, this weekend we've also got, uh, you also have a, uh, an open house coming up. I'm going to put that graphic up while you're telling us about it. Yeah, so open houses this Sunday. And as I mentioned before, it's Holy Cross has a lot of momentum right now. We were one of um, just a couple of schools, high schools, who actually grew enrollment from last year to this year. We've got a lot of momentum. One of our largest freshman classes in the last eight years. Um, so, And we have more people pre-registered for our open house this Sunday than we've ever had. So lots of great momentum happening. And I will tell you, it's because we have great people. Holy Cross is just a really a place where um, we have great faculty and staff who are committed to the mission. Well, and that, uh, that, that great faculty and staff then ends up with, uh, with great students and uh, putting a, a great product on the field tonight, but also uh, I can tell just by uh, how everybody's conducting themselves and just having a great time here. A lot of good fans, too. Boy, your fans uh, fans did travel this little bit and seem to be really enjoying the ball game tonight. Yeah, yeah. We So most of the Holy Cross families live in southwest Louisville, and so I think they were, although we were disappointed not playing at Holy Cross, they all very familiar with this area. Lots of them live in Pleasure Ridge Park, this area, so you know, still kind of feels like home, and absolutely, and they're they're supportive of what we're doing here, and know it's about the long term picture of what we're trying to do. Well, so then when when is uh, when is the completion? When is the completion? That's always, and I realize in everything that's happened since 2020, these, those completion dates always get pushed out, but right. when's completion? Right. So, you know, that's one of the things that uh, if you would have asked me two years ago if we'd still be in this spot, I'd say no, but, you know, everything is because of COVID, um, but a lot of uh, delays in the bleachers, um, a lot of products that are just still really hard to get. Yeah. So um, our goal is to be ready to host in the fall of 23. And um, some people think I'm crazy when I say it's gonna happen. Um, but that was part of the reason why we had to go ahead and keep going with the project, even though we had the possibility of hosting in the playoffs. Right, you just have to go, cause you gotta get done. You have to have it for 2023. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go when they say go. So yeah, but we're excited. All right, well, thank you so much, Danielle Wiegand. Thank you uh, for, uh, for helping us be here, and uh, thanks so much for coming and talking to me. Sounds like great things are going on at Holy Cross. Yeah, thank you so much for being here and helping us, you know, really tell this story tonight. So we appreciate it. I hope, you're, I hope your open house goes fabulously on Sunday. Everybody, you had the chance to uh, see that on the screen. So uh, uh, make, sure and, uh, make sure and get the call up or uh, go over to Holy Cross and, and, and see that open house. Yep, we'll, we'll look forward to having everybody. All right. Well, we are going to step away here from some of our other great uh, Glycod sponsors. When we return, I'll walk you through uh, what the uh, first half scoring looked like uh, here. And uh, we've got uh, second half action coming on Glycod. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance abuse crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The Lifeline works for 24-7 confidential support. Just call, text, or chat 988. For more information, including a list of local resources, visit jessiminhealth.org slash wellness.
For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 Bypass. For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. Donating plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you. Great for life. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of the Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. Let's walk you through the scoring here. The uh, halftime was cut very short, so we are going to, they just did a six-minute halftime, so we are going to be right back at the action uh, scoring was all Holy Cross. Holy Cross with 11.05 in the uh, second quarter. Uh, uh, Perry to Hardesty on a 55-yard pass play. Hardesty with the kick, made it 7-0. Uh, 7.36 left in the uh, first half. Uh, Holy Cross scored again. Jace Hardesty on a 75-yard uh, rushing touchdown and uh, kicked through the extra point, making it 14-0. And then Hardesty uh, scores again. He's working on that mo- uh, most uh Outstanding player award, isn't he tonight, yeah, he Coach? Sure is. uh, uh, Hardesty uh, knocked through the uh, the uh, field goal with a uh, 43-yard field goal with uh, 1.6 seconds left to make it 17 to nothing. And uh, that was the scoring in the first half. Uh, want to uh, make sure and tell you, even though we uh, have a abridged uh, halftime want to uh, tell you that uh, tonight's halftime uh, presented by Center Credit Union. They are centered around you. And uh, with our score of uh, uh, 17 to nothing, Holy Cross over Crittenden County, Tech 24 has jobs available in the fast-growing field of food service, equipment repair, and maintenance with openings in Lexington. Apply online at mytech24.com slash careers. That's mytech 24.com slash careers. So we still have the teams out there uh, trying to warm up a bit. The clock reads 12, but we don't have any officials yet. So we are going to take this opportunity to take a break, and uh, we will do that. Uh, we will have second uh, second half coming uh, very shortly here on Glycott. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in small town values. And mom and dad and the things they handed down. I believe some of the best people in the world are farmers. I believe in insurance that protects families, homes, and cars. I believe in always finding a way to do what you love. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Donating plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. 
Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. Proudly based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. That's okay, so. We return here to Pleasure Ridge Park High School where uh, the uh, Rockets of Crittenden County will be kicking the ball away, trailing 17-0. Todd Carter and uh, uh, Gary Satori on the call with you tonight. Uh, Jeff Cooper running our uh, computer here and uh, Cole Wiegand running the camera upstairs. And uh, coach, uh, we had a short halftime there, and uh, we'll see. Uh, saw both teams trying to warm up a little bit, but boy, that's uh, that's that's a. I've never seen one quite that short. In in almost thirty years of coaching, never had ever come across a six minute halftime. Never. It's always been delays for like homecoming or sure or you know senior night well, i'm a band dad i know that uh, that oh onside kick coming oh. but uh recovered oh, by oh, oh. holy cross Let's see who that was try to yeah this is uh this is the officials making this call and i really I'm not sure if that's a right thing to do only given six minutes for halftime And I'm afraid to say I didn't see who fell on that ball for they got up out of the pile. Chris, uh, Jeff Cooper may know. Well, here we go. Second uh, half action commencing as Perry tucks it and runs right side, but the Rockets defense all over that one. Yeah, they were on it. They're basically, you know, showing almost one or two running plays. And, and so the linebackers are getting used to that little shuffle and, uh, and they're good, doing a good job of closing it down. We want to uh, give a big shout out. Uh, we were planning to have, uh, besides uh, Danielle on, we were also planning to have Kit Fouché, the athletics director from Holy Cross on at halftime, but uh, that shortened halftime uh, took uh, that chance away. I'm gonna continue here after the play, second down. Chris Perry looks to throw right side, has a man, and breaking away, getting across the 50-yard line. And uh, that was Royce, Roland Royce, with that carry out to into Rockets territory. But I wanted to continue. Uh, we understand that... Uh, uh, Mr. Fouché sen Senior uh, had a had a bit of an event last week uh, during the game or yes. after the game, and uh, we want to uh, wish him well. We understand he might be watching us on YouTube tonight, listening to us, and uh, hearing our call. Wishing and him all the best. Absolutely, a speedy recovery yes. and uh, a lot for uh, Kent Fouché, uh, the athletic director, to uh, deal with this week. I'm certain, and. Uh, there went a uh, first down carry by Perry. Got just a nice little off tackle this time. It looked like a power play. Nice job getting that off the edge and first down, moving the chains. Move the chains, do uh, Holy Cross. So again, we want to wish uh, Kent Fouché Sr. A, uh, a speedy recovery and uh, I uh, know a lot of folks up here in the uh, booth are uh, uh, thinking about you, praying for you. So uh, wish you a speedy recovery. And your team's up 17-0, and that uh, can't feel too bad either at the moment as Ballard on the carry. That is quite a one-two punch, isn't it? Going from, I mean, they're both big. They're both pretty big guys. You got yeah. 
Chris Perry, 6'1", 185, taller and a little lankier. Uh, Tyler Ballard, 5'11", 205, but it, it makes quite the one-two punch from the backfield. It does, and, and this time they had like what they call an H-back in there, and he led for Ballard this time. So, I mean, it's just like a triple, a double threat, but when you have that H-back in there, and then all of a sudden you don't know what's going to happen. Right. Uh, Holy Cross has a really nice offensive package. It's very simple, but it's very effective. Three wide outs head to the far side, one near. Back in the backfield there with Perry. Handoff, and that's Ballard again. Just muscles that forward. Yes, that young man, got, uh, what linebacker, can you pick out his number? He's getting up really slow. I didn't. Oh, that's, that's Bradley Berry. That's uh, the leading tackler for the Rockets. He came in with 111 tackles. Yeah. He's moving a little slowly 26. there. You are correct. Yeah. That was another first down, though, for Holy Cross. Their yeah. second of the drive. He just lowered his shoulder pad and really took it to him. Um, I tell you, that, that young man is very physical. Uh, number six, Mr. Ballard there. Perry waits. Mm, on a movement. And handoff. And... Different ball carrier this time. That's uh, Pinbaker, Jamari Pinbaker. This is a little change up. Yeah, this is a, I'll tell you what, as an offensive minded person myself, you're showing dominance right now. You're showing, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the ball right down your throat. I'm going to go ahead and burn this clock. Right. I'm going right. to earn, I'm going to go ahead and control this clock, but I'm going to run in between the tackles on you. And when you can do this, now you're just like you're in control right now. Yep. And this is what Holy Cross is trying to establish, is control on the in between the tackles, the line of scrimmage. So Perry, again in the gun, pretty much all night. Hand off, that's Pennebaker again. Gets the ball down to about the 20 yard another line. Down player. And another down player is correct. Try to see who that is. That would be Levi Piper. Yeah, he's, he's Piper, one of the linebackers, junior. Yeah, now that's two linebackers right now that are a little limping. dinged up. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're getting slow, they're getting up slow. Uh, they're hurting a little bit, but I tell you what, I really admire their toughness and trying to stay in the game. Goes back to your keys, though, staying healthy throughout the ball game, right? Yes, I'm telling you, third round, I'm, you're you're the best of the best right now. This is the top teams that are playing. Perry looks to throw across the middle, has a man caught inside the five, and that's Fouché. Just a really nice outside route. I mean, just receiver just going ahead, just getting. So first and goal for yeah. the Cougars. Joey Fouché on the catch there. Really wouldn't want to call that a post route because the way that he angled that. But I tell you what, it was just a really nice throw deep, get open, and now you're on the inside. You're on the. You're on right there on that one, on yard, the line. one yard line. Two, yeah. One and a half. Yeah. It's, it's close. That's for certain. As Perry on the keeper, looks for the end zone and finds pay darts. Now that's a just off tackle power play. Here we come. So Holy Cross scores with uh, six minutes, 11 seconds left here in this third quarter. So they burn not quite the whole third quarter. Perry on the one yard rushing touchdown. And Hardesty looks to uh, boot the ball through. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Yep. So Hardesty puts his mark on a, yet another score, and uh, after a 17-0 halftime lead, 
Holy Cross brings the ball down and makes it uh, 24 to nothing. We are going to take a quick timeout. When we come back, we'll have more third quarter action for you here on Glycod. Folks, this is Duke Owens, general manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come see us here at Cartown Kia or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. As we return, uh, 24 to nothing, our score here, Holy Cross up over Crittenden County. And, Coach, uh, you, you called it, really, as, as Holy Cross marched down the field there. They were just imposing their will yes. on Crittenden County. You know, that's this is one of those things, again, you know, offensive line coach, offensive coordinator type, you really want to show dominance. And if you can do that in between the two tackles and then control that clock, you know things are going your way. Right. So Hardesty, who's had a, a hand in all of the uh, – Scoring in one way, shape, or form uh, this evening. Yeah, this is the smartest thing that Holy Cross has done on special teams is not kick it deep to those guys because even though they're kicking it short, they're getting better field position. By, 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 by right, yeah. by kicking it to the upbacks. That was Tyler Belt who uh, fielded that for the Rockets. So the Rockets will start at the 38-yard line. That uh, scoring drive on a bit of a short field there for Holy Cross as they, uh, they took that ball from uh, about 60 yards there after the, the short uh, onside attempt. Okay, let's see what second half adjustments and goals that Crittenden County has set. Newcomb yep, rolls Short and yardage. has a man, 45, out past the 50, and that was Caden Howard. Nice little sprint out. It was like a little quick hitch, but you got 12 yards off of it. Nice job. That's exactly what the game plan has to do because you know you're not going to be able to protect the quarterback on those deep routes. You've got to create short passes and getting out of the pocket. It's like he just did. So first down on that first play from scrimmage. Again, folks, if you uh, ran out for some popcorn or something at halftime, nice catch there. We're already halfway through the third quarter as it was only a six minute halftime. That was uh, Rowan Perkins on the catch and another first down for Crittenden County. That's yeah, just a nice little play action, just a nice little inside run, and then I'll pop it out and just throw it right over top of the linebackers. Some people call it an RPO now, but it's just still a play action pass. So check, check with me there as the sideline calls in the play here. Here comes the pressure, and uh, Newcomb goes down again. Yeah, this is, again, you've got to be – aware of your play calling you know holy cross is going to come and put pressure you've got yep. to get rid of it fast you can't you can't hold on to it that was a combo of tyler ballard and phillips putting that pressure on newcomb and about a five yard loss there makes it second in about 15. i think they may be officially saying 14 but uh yeah Close enough for government work. That's uh, that's a long way behind the chains for certain. Are the Rockets? That's Morgison in motion. Oof. Belt. Oh man, here comes Jeez. the defense. I heard they that met. Pop. They met Newcomb in the backfield. Cam Henderson Reed and Tyler Ballard were all over that. I really liked what Crittenden County was doing right off the bat. Just a little sprint out, short passing game, and then yeah. another play action and moving the ball you know they need to stick to that because that's what Crittenden County can really do well you know I really like what they were doing they were moving the ball and then all of a sudden now it seems like they're yeah, here it is third and 15. 
Well, you know, as you, I looked at the defensive statistics, though, for this Holy Cross team. Hit, boy, it, a lot of tackles for loss. 15 for one guy with eight sacks and 17 for another and, and 22 for another. So they're going to come after you. Oh, yes. And now throwing the ball up over the top, picked off. That is uh, Chris Perry, the opposing uh, quarterback, who picked that ball off. And uh, Holy Cross gets the ball back on the interception and return. Yeah, that was just a beautiful read by Perry, being able to pick that off and just go ahead again. Now, it's one of those things, again, you – you're down. You're trying to do everything you can. You yep. can't fault the coaches. You got to do what you got to do. It's just that he's been a lot of pressure. Holy Cross right. is just absolutely putting a lot of pressure. The offensive line by Crittenden County is doing everything they can. They're just bringing extra people. And there was a uh, a penalty during the uh, the run back there against Holy, Holy Cross. Cross. Their first penalty of the game, uh, and. The first penalty of the half, excuse me, pardon me, seventh penalty of the game. I apologize. Gary, Gary was looking at me with the side eye there, folks. Yeah, as, uh, they committed six in the first half against uh, only two for the Rockets. But uh, that's the first for either team here in the second half. And we've got a timeout on the field, so we are actually going to step away and take our third quarter timeout. Our score uh, Holy Cross 24, uh, Crittenden County at nothing. Come on back, more third quarter here on Glycott. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of the Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. As the players return from the huddle, and Holy Cross is going to be back on offense here, leading this one 24 to nothing. And I knew we would have a good game, Coach. I, I expected yeah. Crittenden County to be able to move the ball a, a little bit better than they have. But this Holy Cross defense has played very well. Yes. And again, Perry with a great run right up the middle. Just design quarterback run for a first down and more. You know, this... I was talking to uh, one of the coaches prior to the game, and they have six seniors and only three that are starting. The rest are all underclassmen. So Holy Cross is just Perry being one of those seniors, but a lot of pieces around him, as you said. Exactly. Yeah. There's a Under, lot, a lot of got, underclassmen got playing some, out there. Yeah, yeah. Have some, have some uh, eligibility uh, here. Some years left. Yeah, they're going to reload for next year. Perry waits for it. Oh, that tackle moved. Handoff, right side. And just battling. Jeez. That's Ballard again on the carry. That is a hard five yards of running. He's a very physical runner. He's just moving Crittenden County's defense. And one of the Crittenden County players, again, that's Briley Berry. He's gotten up slow a couple of times. He yeah. leads these Rockets in tackles, and uh, he has been in the middle of a lot of those plays. He's in, he's in the fight yep, every sure time. Is. I tell you, I'm watching him. He's limping around, but that young man is absolutely a warrior. He is definitely taking on everything that he can. So, Chris Perry at about his own 44-yard line handoff. Ballard again, this time caught in the backfield. Crittenden County uh, moved a little different defense this time. They moved what they call 6-2, and that reason why they were putting pressure on them, and that's the reason why they got on the outside for them. 
That was Nesbitt with the tackle. Caleb uh, Nesbitt coming in with uh, 68 tackles, so. Now, Crittenden County is just doing everything they can to go ahead and make adjustments on defense, trying to give them, you know, give them a different look every time to kind of make, get the offensive line a little confused. But Holy Cross is uh, still doing a great job. Now, here it is, third and six. Is that where, where we at, third and five? Third, third and, uh, third and, yeah, third and six. Yeah. Line to gain about the 48-yard line on the Crittenden County side of the line. Perry throws oh. and misses his third, man third, there. And that was a McClellan, the intended receiver. Should also tell our Crittenden County fans, Briley Berry went to the sideline there. That linebacker, we were talking about how he was looking a little gimpy. He went to the sideline, and uh, he's being looked at by the athletic trainers there on the Crittenden County sideline. He's he's, uh, he's been in the, the fight all night, he but sure has. Uh, is unfortunately a little bit of the uh, not, not quite walking wounded at the moment. He's set to the sideline. Yeah, and again, when I said you got to have, you got to, you got, during this time, your injuries, you want to make sure that you're injury free. As Jace Hardesty will punt the ball away. Nice kick to the opposing punter. That's Morganson. And he puts together a uh, nice return back out to the 30-yard line. Yeah, Crittenden, Crown, Crittenden County is uh, has a very good special teams. Uh, they're coached very well. They move the ball very well on special teams. I, I tell you, their return teams have been very positive and very effective. So first and 10 for Crittenden County and the Rockets who have only been able to put together five first downs on the evening. Uh, they had a couple right there at the beginning of that third quarter, Coach, and I thought, boy, they may, uh, they may try to sneak back into this, but got stalled out. Oh, and here comes... Ballard, Newcomb gets flushed, throws the ball down. Mm. Oh, almost finds Preston Morganson along the sideline. He's going to be a little slow getting up. Right. Yeah, they, they've been really effective when they go that empty set, and here comes that screen. That's what I thought they were going to do, but then they decided to go ahead and go long. It was really close. Um, Could have gone either way, but unfortunately it didn't work out for Crittenden County. So second and 10 as the third quarter working to a close here. Just about 20 seconds left. Newcomb throws a screen. That's Morgison. Uh, sniffed out well, though. Although made a, had a nice yak there. Nice yard after catch. Very Morgison. good. Yeah. That's, that's a go-to play for Crittenden County. They're really a nice screen team being patient, um, you know, really good job by the quarterback. Just hold it on just as long as he can, get that defense sucked up, and then letting it go. Well, that's the end of the third quarter. As time expires, uh, we will step aside. Uh, when we return, uh, Holy Cross has a 24 to nothing lead going into this fourth quarter on Glycott. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance abuse crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The Lifeline works. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. For more information, including a list of local resources, visit jessaminhealth.org wellness. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 bypass. For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football. As 
Crittenden County, nice play. Oh, ball on the turf. Yes, ball on the turf. Holy Cross comes up with it. Yeah, that was a really uh, nice play call. Unfortunately, you know, the, the ball gets really cold. Cold, and, yep. yeah. So it was a nice play on the left side, but then a fumble by Crittenden County, and Holy Cross comes up with it. And it looked like Joey Fouché was uh, was celebrating, like he, he may have been the one that fell on that ball. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Perry coming out, got the play. Let's see what happens. So just underway here in the fourth quarter. And Holy Cross back on offense. You know they're just going to want to run the ball and eat up some clock. Yep. Perry gotcha with up. the carry for about uh, three yards. Yeah. Want to tell you who we are again here as we come out of the, the break. Uh, I'm Dr. Todd Carter. Alongside me is our analyst for the night, Gary Satori. And uh, running the camera upstairs is uh, uh, Cole Wiegand. And uh, from Holy Cross, doing an admirable job. Jeff Cooper on the uh, computer for us here tonight. And then sending us scores. Executive producer comes up with our notes. Uh, uh, the all-important uh, Steve Bird. So Holy Cross really in command of this game in the fourth quarter. And Tyler Ballard with the carry there. You know it's just going to be a steady yes. diet. Yeah, it is. It's 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 just ball control now. Yep. yep. Um, you Shorten the game as much as you can just by letting that clock run. You have to. This is. This is where, you know, now Crittenden is doing different. Crittenden County is doing as much as they can. They're going to go ahead and change up the defense, the fronts, add more, putting a little blitzes on something, trying to put pressure to try to stop that running game. Right, right. Um, this is where, you know, again, formations and doing different things is just kind of create space for your offense to run. But Crittenden County is doing a great job of controlling uh, that line of scrimmage right now. Ballard rolls, throws, caught by Hardesty. He springs loose for the first down, still going. Finally knocked out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. So suck the defense up, suck the defense up, and then hit him on that rollout. You have to because Crittenden County is doing a great job of putting more people in the box and trying to put pressure, and that made Holy Cross go ahead and have to change up. Now it was a nice bootleg. That's a really good answer, the quarterback rolling out and trying to get space, and they did a really good job of getting out there and a little speed and space and getting this positive yardage. And now where are they at, on the 25 or 15? They're on the 15 On yard the line. 15, yeah, inside yeah. the 15. 14, yeah. it looks yeah. like the ball lies. So yeah. now a very short field to work with here. Right. Now, again, the clock. 10-10. 10-10. You know, the one thing I really liked about Indiana football is they had the side uh, markers, you know. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, the play clock. The play clock. Yeah, I really wish end. Kentucky would yeah. do that. I really wish – I'd like to see Kentucky add that. It, it certainly is is nice. As as a broadcaster, it's great. As a fan, it's good. I know it's got to it's be great for the players and the coaches. Oh, the coaches, definitely. That way they know they can control the clock. Just a nice this kid. Ball, yep, Ballard just right up the middle. Yeah. Met and brought down, but it took three rockets to. Uh, yeah, they're 54. He's holding his. Uh, what's 54's? Yeah. Zach counts. Uh, young man, he was doing a great job, but he's, look at him. He's 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 holding his hand. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, holding maybe his hand or your ribs or. Something. Yeah. Well, maybe it is ribs. I was I was thinking maybe he's holding a hand, but you're yeah. right. He's it's it maybe is a rib. It's cold out there. It's cold out yeah. there. I'm I'm thinking of when it's cold outside and you get you smash your fingers or your hand. Yeah. Get it smacked in between a couple of things. Oh that that hoits. Yes it does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Calling for it's Perry. Runs right and tackled in the backfield. That's Nesbitt. Yeah, that was a little tight bunch to the right, trying to go ahead and get as much as you can on the outside. But the Crittenden County did a good job of containing 
and not letting them get outside. So that back, pretty much right back to the exact line of scrimmage. So it's still third and nine. Yeah, they've got two plays now to go ahead. Now you're thinking, you know, five and five. You want to not go ahead and try to, you know, if you're going to go ahead and maybe get into the end zone, but I'm thinking a five-yard play, five-yard play. Well, and I, I absolutely, or we know Hardesty has this range. Yeah, he does. He so, does. you know, they ran the ball to the right side. He liked it on that right before, but, oh, now we've got – Oh, flag comes in. Coming on Holy Cross side. Yep, sure is. Look like somebody moved. Yep. So just the second uh, penalty of the half, both on Holy Cross. All right, that here we go. moves the Cougars back five yards. Makes it third and 14. See what they dial up. Barry rolling, looks to throw, launches it towards the end zone. Oh, through the hands of uh, one player and off of the Holy Cross man in the end zone. Let's see who that was. That's Fouché was in the end zone. But it also went right through the hands of Morgison, I believe. Had a chance at it for the Rockets. So it's going to bring up fourth down, and it sure looks like Holy Cross is going to try to put three more on the board. So, yeah, this is uh, Perry, the holder. This and is in Hardesty. So a 35 yard. Attempt here, and the kick is uh, no good. Boy, there was a whole host of rockets coming through that line. So let's go ahead and uh, take a quick uh, timeout when we return. 8.04 left in the ball game here on Glycod. That puts the ball on the 20. based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. Newcomb back, running for his life at the moment. Has a man, Ooh, though, caught oh. at the 35-yard line and then dropped. Going to be incomplete. The intended receiver, Perkins, Rowan Perkins, the uh, senior, had that ball in his hands and just couldn't hold on. And we've got a flag that is <laughs> down about midfield at about the uh, – 34 yard line. So let's see what that's all about. As conference going on. Yeah, I tell you. Nobody's shooing Holy Cross players away, which surprises me. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think the way it's been going, I, I got to predict maybe it's against Holy Cross. It could be. And that is uh, one, one thing about the, the Holy Cross, uh, this Holy oh. Cross team. No. No. Going to be waved off after that conference. I was going to say, if there's anything, now you talked you talked uh, uh, about it in the pregame about putting, you know, kind of a twist into practice and so forth this coming week. Yeah. And certainly the uh, the eight penalties against Holy Cross would be something that uh, uh, Coach Dick could certainly harp on and is going to, you know, want to clean up for, for next week. Yes. Um you know, I thought it was a smart move to go ahead and go for the field goal because you really want to make sure that you're getting your experience in that fourth right. round and possibly maybe going into the state championship. Right. Um, but I tell you, you have to clean up yep. your your play. I know you want them to be physical, and I know you want them to play on the on the type on the edge, but you have to play discipline. Right. And that that'll ruin you, or, or that'll cost you a game down the road if you keep on having these penalties. Snap back, Newcomb looks, looks, has some time this time, finds Morganson, 
Oh, and nice. nice pop there by yeah. Morgison. I and love the aggressiveness. Absolutely. Yeah. Going to be about an eight, uh, eight yard, maybe even nine yard. Yeah, it's a nice little pass cross. play. Yeah, yeah. A nice little crossing route. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very effective. I love crossing routes. I think they're great. Um, and I'll tell you, that was physical right there. He dipped his shoulder and said, I'm going to get a couple more yards. <laughs> So ball at the 30. No, they're going to say first down now. Uh, chain gang was uh, late to be informed <laughs> that that was a first down. Yeah. Thought, uh, thought the Rockets were going to go ahead and make the play. And now, Ooh. oh, caught and then sandwiched out there. Yeah, that was discipline right there. And oh. in comes a flag. There it comes. But that was discipline right there by that young man catching that ball. And I'm afraid to say I never did see who the. I didn't see. I, I didn't see who the who caught the pass only because he was smashed up between those two red jerseys. So that's going to go against Holy Cross by the body language here. Yeah. The way the officials are turning their shoulders, here it comes. And that's going to be a big oh, one. No, that's a personal foul right there. Unsportsmanlike conduct yeah. against Holy Cross. And so that 15 yards puts Crittenden County into Holy Cross territory. Newcomb has some time, throws, mm. caught again, but immediately brought down. And that was Perkins on the reception. I really uh, was in on that tackle. I really like the way Crittenden County is moving the ball. They're just another nine-yard gain. Yeah, short, quick. So the check with me on the sideline there from Micah Newcomb. High snap. He's got some time though. No. Nope. Just run. Decides to run. And has the first down and runs out of bounds inside the 25 at the 24-yard line. So the fourth first down for Crittenden County this half. One of those coming via the penalty. Yeah, that was really smart. Get out of the box. Get your lanes where you can see. Looks like his receivers were going good and getting um, – Covered really well, so they let him take off and run. That was smart to get out of bounds, too. So clock stop, 6.20 remaining. But, of course, the, the clock is uh, probably the, the biggest, meanest, ugliest defender these Rockets have playing against them at this point in the game. Right. Newcomb. There's a flood. Oh. oh. In there comes... That was Luke McCubbins in on the sack there. <laughs> Must be the parents right down below us because they're <laughs> they, very happy. They were happy. quite happy about that. Loss of two yards. Second down and 20. So loss of 10. And second and 20. Newcomb with Tyler Belt in the backfield with him and has a man. Morgison catches that. About a 15, going to be about an 18 yard gain when you include the uh, yards after catch there. It's a nice dig route or what we call an in route. It's just like a little square 90 degrees. Really nice job of getting open. Very good positive yards. We're gonna, yeah, that, that was it, just about 18 yards. We're going to call that third and about two. So nice play there from Newcomb to Morgison. Now running left is Newcomb. He's got the first down and a little bit more. So design quarterback keeper oh, there. Got another penalty. And a penalty comes in. It's against Holy Cross. Got the hands up. You know, I'll tell I may you. have not counted one. That I think this is their that I think this is their fifth of the uh, 
of the half. Yeah. If that does, and it is. You know, I tell you, you're winning, you're up 24 to nothing, and this is where you just have to be disciplined. Discipline. Yeah. 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 So that makes it first and goal from about the uh, three yard line here for the Rockets. Now here comes the flood of defenders and ball pitched out incomplete. Newcomb, that was dangerous there. Yeah, Holy Cross put a lot of pressure. They brought more people up and uh, did a nice job of making and forcing the quarterback to kind of throw an unnecessary throw and right. uh, it just got a hold of him. It was a really nice job by the defense by Holy Cross. Well, the defense of Holy Cross has played well all game. But oh, yes. boy, this, it, it really, they, they uh, the shutout, of course, shows that, but uh, they, uh, they've, right from the get-go, yeah. have limited what these Rockets could do. Nesbitt in motion. And Newcomb trying to run it in and it does. Got touchdown. So touchdown, to Micah Newcomb. Now that was just a really, you know, changing it up, you know, sprinting outside, getting open, and just getting in that end zone. I tell you, I really like. Crittenden County has just absolutely been battling the whole game, showing that they're not going to back down. This nice, tough run, nice six points. And Pierce says, though, Crittenden County is going to go for two. I would. That, there's no reason to go for one. Just go for two. Go yep. ahead and get the points as much as you can. So three-yard rushing touchdown from Micah Newcomb. That's his 11th rushing touchdown of the season. And Newcomb oh, throwing to the end zone, oh, broken good. up. Yes. Intended receiver was Nesbitt. Yeah, that was a really good call. Nice corner route, nice height, but just really good defensive play by the corner to knock it down. And that's Pence on the uh, break up there, and that makes it. 24-6, to six, and we are going to step away, take a brief break. Uh, four minutes, 29 seconds remaining in the ballgame when we return here on Glycod. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. I tell 24 you. to 6 with 4.29 left in the ball game. And uh, Coach was just telling me, uh, uh, better have your hands team in there if you're Holy Cross. Yeah, this is definitely what they call a hands team is you've got your best Able body, you don't want your linemen in there. You want people that can catch the ball. So you can see why Holy Cross has absolutely moved everybody up yep. to the line of scrimmage because you know Crittenden County is going to do an onside kick. And a whistle blows and a flag down. I don't know if there's an offsides by where that lies. It yeah. sure looks like it probably yeah, the is. The official laid it on Crittenden County's side, so that does call for a. You know, that does call for an offsides. Yep. Just the uh, first and only penalty for Crittenden County in this second half of play. Oh. And that was, you know, now. Well, now, does that change anything, or do you try the same thing again? I think. Okay. We got an official legend here. Uh, being able to, he can't kick it into the ground. That's what he said. Is that right? Uh, I got gotcha. you. So kicked it into the ground rather than kicking it where it would then pop up. Close, but Holy Cross captures it. Holy Cross comes up with it. 
And uh, looks like uh, Roland Royce is who fell on top of that. So Holy Cross will uh, take over, just needing to uh, do nothing more than burn four minutes and 29 seconds to advance. Yeah, this is, now Crittenden County is gonna absolutely put as many people they can in a box to go ahead and try to get three and out. Right, you right. Know, so yeah. this is where Holy Cross might go ahead and they're gonna try to run that boot, but they're gonna tell him, hey, hold on to the ball if you can. Don't right, throw right. it. Yeah, just, just you know, hold on clock. to it. Yep. yep. Burn that clock up. So three wide outs to this near wide side, one to the far. And Perry on the keeper. Gain of about a yard. Yep. But just as importantly, Seven clock four. keeps running. That counts. Now, I don't know if Crittenden County is going to call any timeouts or not. I mean, you know, it's. 24 to 6. Yards, you need three touchdowns. You know, maybe they will call a timeout. They have all three of theirs yeah. remaining. So I think maybe they're they're playing just to see if they can get them to three and out here and save those timeouts. Right. But uh, time is a precious commodity at this point for the Rockets. Now, now off tackle play has been working really well for them instead of just going straight north and south. Well, that's a, just a pitch now a play. pitch, and that's Ballard. And nice gainer there out to. Yeah, I definitely would want to go ahead. There's a timeout right there. Timeout. So a timeout Crittenden for County. Crittenden County. I'll ask if we are caught up. We are caught up, so we will keep it here and uh, bring your attention to the ticker at the bottom of the screen. And also tell you just to uh, stay tuned uh, to uh, Glycod. That is, uh, check us out at uh, Glycod.com this coming week to see what, uh, what games we may be uh, covering for you in the semifinal round of KHSAA football uh, up and down the different uh, leagues and levels. Yeah, I'm starting to get texts from uh, coaches about some games, and I just <laughs> I just received that Bryan Station did beat Trinity 10-7. to right. 7. 10 to 7, okay. Yeah, I think uh, from what I've been hearing, Trinity is a lot of young players. They played a lot of young young men. They you know under a lot of underclassmen. Didn't know if they had a lot of injuries this year, but uh, you know Trinity it's is one Trinity. of those years where they just yeah didn't have the the juniors and seniors maybe. Yeah, but I tell you what, Trinity is always Trinity. They'll bounce back. Um, one bad year, but they always have very successful. Careers, years. There's a off tackle play. That's a smart move. There and is flag a penalty. Flag comes in, and Perry yep. slides down there after the first down. But let's see if it will stand. What That's I like in the backfield. Yeah. What I liked about Perry there, he did not run out of bounds. He slid right before going out of bounds. But I think you're going to see a holding call by Holy Cross here. It's in the usual position. Yeah of a holding and Holy yep. Cross is backing up. So still haven't seen, no, a fa face mask, did they say that? Yeah, yeah. maybe to the, an offensive yep. lineman, to a defensive yep. lineman yep. possibly. I just wanted to make sure I heard it correctly. It's a sixth penalty of the second half, making 12 for Holy Cross. Yeah. Let the tally add up, how many yards and, you know, it was a bunch. It was. It's 311. It's still that clock is still ticking. And that's what you want. Get out of that huddle slow. When you're right, that's where that play clock at the end of the field. You can work that thing all the way down to just a few ticks left. Yeah, I remember when and I was. And in comes a flag yeah. again. I remember when I was a young assistant coach. I was in charge of the clock. I would mm -hmm. be standing next to the head coach, and every time that official went ahead and blew that whistle to start it, I had the stopwatch. Gotcha. And I could tell the coach how many seconds was left. Third down, 14. So that backs Holy Cross up again. 
into their own territory. The nose of the football yep. right on that midfield stripe. As soon as a whistle blows, then that clock will go again. Um, but now they're forcing them to go ahead and maybe throw the ball again. Perry, flush from the pocket, comes around the left, ends up trying oh. to find Hardesty, and uh, can't, uh, can't get his man there. That does stop the clock and brings up fourth down. Now that was a good, good okay. defensive series for Crittenden County. Now let's go ahead and see what Holy Cross are gonna probably go ahead and if they get that good punt yep. and let it roll, no. pin, pin them back. Interesting, different punter in the ball game. That is not hard to see, I don't think, because I saw him come to the sideline and didn't see him go back in. Of course, now I can't find him. Maybe That's it is Hardesty out there. Ballard? No, Hardesty's standing over here. Yeah, is that Ballard right there? It could be. Wow. Left-footed footed boot. That was Ballard. And it caught but then muffed at the 20-yard line. That was Ballard. Boy, there's a lot of dual talent. Ballard being able to punt and he can run the ball and tackle. And then, of course, quarterback does everything, doesn't he? Sure does. <sighs> Two minutes, 38 seconds remains here in this ball game. And so we've got another Holy Cross penalty. Mm. That's the eighth Jeez. of. So it's a face mask against Holy Cross. Wow. <laughs> so. Wait to see a mark off. I guess that's coming here. It is. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. So the chain gang will reset, and uh, the Rockets will start on their own 35 with a scant two minutes and 38 seconds remaining. Throwing the ball out here. Nesbitt with the catch at the 40. Hmm. And popped by Ballard from behind. Yeah. Wow, that, that was that, a, that was quite the hit. First down, a, though. That was a very aggressive <laughs> hit. That young man is uh, very talented. He can hit you. But that was a really great catch, though, getting the positive yards and moving the chains. Hmm. That uh, catch, Caden Howard. Hardesty on the tackle there. But another five yard gain and into Holy Cross territory. Screen. Screen, oh, oh broken nice. up. And uh, that was big, Cam Henderson Reed stuck his paw up there and broke that up. Now that didn't fool Holy Cross this time. They did not be, you know, they didn't come too aggressive. They stopped and backpedaled. He got his hand up and was able to go ahead and deflect that. Again, Crittenden County was absolutely getting ready to go the distance again on that screen. Good job, uh, number 73. They've been doing really well sprinting out. Let's see if they keep doing that. Well, throw right side, right at the first down marker, trying to get out of bounds, but uh, couldn't. Caden Howard with the reception, moves the chains again. Seven first downs for Crittenden County. Crittenden County trying to move quickly here. And here comes the pressure. Newcomb sacked back in his own territory. 
looks yeah. like what, about a 10 yard loss? Yeah, every bit of it. Holy Cross, I saw them come across very aggressive, bringing the house, offensive line, doing everything they can to protect him, but it's just not that, not this play. You know, they just absolutely, Holy Cross did a great job of getting to the quarterback. And timeout now. on the field as the uh, Rockets take a timeout, stopping the clock. Again, we will keep it here, 127 remaining. Second and 20. I wonder how much it's cooled off since the game started. <laughs> it feels like uh, it feels like a good six or seven degrees, maybe more than that. I'm pulling up the app right now. It says it's 27. 27. So feels it feels like 21 though. Feels like 21. Well, that's why it, it feels like it's eight nine degrees cooler. It's, <laughs> yes. it's, it's chilly out here, folks. You know, my wife she goes, "You better dress warm." I'm like, "Oh, I got it. I got it." You know, I forgot where we were in these. Uh, um, legendary press boxes in Jefferson County. <laughs> it's it's chilly. Yeah, it's chilly. I got layers on and I'm still a little chilly. Yeah, you were you've been very helpful trying to give out those uh, hand, hand warmers. warmers too. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the Rockets coming out of the timeout. Oh, here oh, comes gosh. the pressure. Wow. And that was Ballard and he was not even checked on his way to the quarterback. Wow. Yeah. Another 10 yard loss. Yeah, that young Gonna man. Gonna bring up third down and forever. He is a senior. Line to, line to uh, gain would be the 32 in Holy Cross territory and the ball rests back on the 38 yard line of Crittenden County. Wow. Hey, good job, it's good scene. Well, the cross staff has uh, just left the box. They're they, uh, heading down to the field. Headed, headed down for some celebration. Yes, yeah, it's 116 left. 116 left and an 18 point lead. This one's now really been salted away for the really for the fourth quarter here. Now this is where your secondary has to kind of drop back a little yep. bit, you know, deeper. Um, Depends on what they do with them linebackers, but yeah. don't get beat deep. That's all they're saying to them. Don't Nukem, get screen, double right pass. side, no double pass. Absolutely, oh, and job. finds Caden Howard running down the touchdown. far sidelines. Touchdown! And Case uh, Gobin was a player who made that pass, and that was a what? Uh, what? 62-yard touchdown play. Yeah, that was a really nice call, the double pass. And now they're going to have to go for two here. Right, we had a timeout on the field. Timeout by Holy Cross. Timeout by Holy Cross. We want to, uh, again, thank uh, Pleasure Ridge Park for having us out and uh, hosting this. This is a, a home game for Holy Cross. As you may have heard at halftime, they uh, are in the midst of a big capital campaign and the third phase of that was a sports complex. So they don't uh, have bleachers to play on at the moment, but uh, they're gonna have, uh, if you saw those artist renderings maybe if you uh, go back and watch the watch the replay come back sometime watch that at uh, at halftime uh, boy uh, pretty looking uh, stadium complex there yeah it really does look beautiful so Crittenden County scores again on that pass play from Gobin to uh, Howard And now a double pass again, this oh. one overthrown. <laughs> so that makes our score 24 to 12 here in the fourth quarter. And uh, got a minute and five seconds left. Better get your hands team ready again, because you know Crittenden County is going to go ahead and do another onside kick to try to get the ball back. 
Absolutely. It will be another another onside kick, no doubt. And Excuse me. No, that's okay. And again, make sure and uh, check out the uh, the ticker as it runs there. Jeff Cooper been working hard to get our scores of local interest on the scoreboard. Want to again thank uh, Cole Wiegand for uh, working our camera for us. Again, student from uh, Holy Cross and nice enough to uh, to be working the camera up there. Says he likes to work camera for his church, too. He, d he did say that, so that's awesome that he does that. So we very much thank him for helping us out this evening. And You're kicking the dirt again. Kicking the dirt, yep. yep. That was just an offsides. Oh, it was? Procedure. Or procedure penalty. Okay. Yep. So we're going to back the Rockets up five yards. Just their second penalty of the uh, the half, both of them in the kicking game, interestingly enough, <laughs> yeah. and only four for the game. So I'd, I'd have to say the Rockets have played a very clean game. Yes, they have. I suppose if they can get the ball back here with 105 left, that does make things interesting, doesn't it? It sure does. Oh, oh. that one just went plumb sideways. No. Nope. And not far enough. Nope. Now that's a penalty, but I'm sure Holy Cross is going to go ahead and say, we'll just take it right we'll just there. Just take it right there. Yep. Yep. I don't see a flag, interestingly oh. enough. But, as you said, the Holy Cross is going to get the ball right there yeah, I, at I, the 38-yard line. All right. Let's see what they're going to do here. They're still in gun. Nope. Is he? Uh, yeah, he's still in gun. But is he going to walk up and take a knee? Looks like he's just going to take the shotgun and take a knee. Yep. I think they work, you know, when you work out of the gun, that's that's how you work the Maybe it's just more comfortable to do that. Yeah, you really have to make sure when you practice, it, if you're both under the gun and also underneath the, you know, if you're in shotgun or under the center, you have to work it all the time. Right. You know, I remember doing one time we were in gun a lot, and I called for a play to go under the center, and the quarterback fumbled the ball. So it's just that exchange of snap. There we go. That's the ball game right there. That's 30 seconds left, and uh, that should be the ball game. It's all over now, but the final horn going off as the Holy Cross Cougars will advance to the KHSAA 1A semifinal next week, and uh, they will get to practice on Thanksgiving. I know we asked both coaches about that. And yes. uh, coach, you said that was a, that's a special time. It? It's a special time. This is where on Thanksgiving morning, you know, you get that early practice in and then you have nothing but donuts and hot chocolate for your, for your players and for your staff. It's just a special time. I was only lucky right now to only do this once and it was, a, it was very special. It was a really great time. Well, that's our ball game. So Holy Cross is victorious over Crittenden County at 24 to 12. We're going to step away here from our, our great sponsors. When we come back, we'll review the scoring, uh, have the most outstanding uh, players of the game, and also have some final numbers for you here. So stay tuned for the postgame show on Glycott. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in small town values. And mom and dad and the things they handed down. I believe some of the best people in the world are farmers. I believe in insurance that protects families, homes, and cars. I believe in always finding a way to do what you love. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. 
Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 bypass. For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of The Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. New teen drivers are at greater risk for car crashes, particularly at night and during the first few months without adult supervision. Checkpoints is a free one-hour educational program held monthly at the Jessamine Career and Technology Center in Nicholasville. It will help you help your teen be safer when they become a new independent driver. For more details, including program incentives and how to register, visit the Jessamine County Health Department's website at jessaminehealth.org. Donating plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you. Great for life. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come see us here at Cartown Kia or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. Tonight's post-game recap is brought to you by Cartown Kia. Visit their state-of-the-art showroom at 3120 Lexington Road in Nicholasville or shop online at cartownkiausa.com. Cartown Kia, movement that inspires. Our final, Holy Cross 24, Crittenden County at 12, as uh, this one really was all Holy Cross. The uh, Crittenden County scored twice there in the fourth quarter. But, uh, uh, but Holy Cross really uh, came out and uh, established themselves early and really dominated the whole game. Wouldn't you agree, Coach? Oh, I agree 100%. You know, when we were in the locker room interviewing uh, Coach Dick, I tell you what, I was just looking around. I'm like, these young men are physically fit. They're strong. And they just, I've, you know, like I said, I coached against them last year. And I know how physical they were and how well coached they are. And they have some assistant coaches that, that were former head football coaches. So you know that not only are they very talented, but they're coached very well. Well, let's go over the scoring in the ball game. Uh, for uh, really, it was all Holy Cross in the first half. Uh, uh, with 11.05 left in the uh, second quarter, passing a uh, touchdown. Uh, Perry to Hardesty for 55 yards. Hardesty knocked through the extra point. That made it 7 to nothing. With 7.36 left in the uh, uh, second quarter, Jace Hardesty with a 75-yard rushing uh, touchdown. Hardesty uh, knocked through the extra point as well, making it 14 nothing. And then the uh, first half uh, Jace Hardesty show uh, was completed with a 43-yard uh, field goal as time expired in the first half, making it 17-0 our halftime score. Holy Cross scored uh, one more time with 6-11 left in the third quarter, uh, rushing touchdown by Chris Perry from one yard out, Hardesty knocking through the extra point and making it 24 to nothing. And then uh, two uh, touchdowns by uh, Crittenden County in the fourth quarter, uh, the first with 429 left, uh, Micah Newcomb with a three-yard rushing touchdown, making it 24-6. And then with 105 remaining, uh, Gobin to Howard on a 62-yard pass play, making it 24-12. to And that was our final uh, as the uh, uh, 
the Holy Cross uh, Cougars will advance to the KHSAA 1A semifinal next week uh, with this 24 to 12 victory. Uh, Coach, any, any more thoughts just to, uh, about the, how the game of ebb and flow went? No, I just I thought both teams um, deserved to be here. And I tell you what, both teams played as hard and physical as they could. I just was expecting a great game, and we got one. And I tell you, I wish both teams and to be very successful in the future. Coaches are very well. Uh, I think they're, they're, the coaches did a great job of coaching these young men and doing a great job game planning. I just want to see Holy Cross go to, go all the day, you know, go the distance. Yeah, yeah. Well, let, uh, let's step away again, and when we come back, we'll have your uh, Central Credit Union uh, final numbers and uh, continue on with the postgame show here on Glycod. Folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. Proudly based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance abuse crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The Lifeline works. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. For more information, including a list of local resources, visit jessaminhealth.org slash wellness. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of the Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in small town values. And mom and dad and the things they handed down. I believe some of the best people in the world are farmers. I believe in insurance that protects families, homes, and cars. I believe in always finding a way to do what you love. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Glycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycon. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycon. Tonight's final numbers presented by Centra Credit Union. They're centered around you. And our final numbers, uh, Jace Hardesty uh, accounting for a whole lot of offense there in that, uh, in that first half, including uh, catching a 55-yard uh, touchdown pass, uh, uh, running for a 75-yard uh, um uh, rushing touchdown, having a 43-yard uh, field goal, and uh, booting through uh, uh, three uh, extra points on the evening. So Jace Hardesty having a big night tonight. And then uh, 14 penalties for Holy Cross. And, uh, Coach, we talked about, boy, that's, that's got to be something that uh, Coach Dick's going to really probably harp on this week because it just that's something to keep his kids really – pushed and motivated right on monday when they have film review he is going to emphasize that right yep, there he's yep. going to bring that stats up and say you cannot win state championships by being that undisciplined and then 11 first downs for holy cross on the evening and uh against 10 uh first downs for crittenden county and uh, uh just four penalties for crittenden county including uh, two in the second half were up both uh, in the kicking game, which you sure sure don't see too very often. 
But uh, our final score, 24 to 12. The trophy's already been presented, and uh, these uh, Holy Cross uh, Cougars are going to this 1A semifinal. Well, let's uh, jump away again, and uh, uh, Coach Satori, you are going to get to pick our most outstanding uh, players of the ball game, and uh, so that's our teaser. We'll have those for you when we return here on Glycott. Plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you. Great for life. Proudly based in Jessamine County, R.J. Corman Railroad Group has been serving North America's railroad industry since 1973. Find out more by visiting rjcorman.com. For high quality railroad service, it's R.J. Corman. Hi, I'm Glenn Downs, pharmacist and owner of the Prescription Pad in Nicholasville. We are an independent community pharmacy that provides personalized service. We offer free home delivery, medication compliance packaging, compounding, and home medical equipment. Getting your medications from us means no need to wait in line or on the phone for minutes. Visit us at 465 Keene Center Drive in the Keene Shops in Nicholasville or by phone at 859-887-2841. The prescription pad is dedicated to your family's health. New teen drivers are at greater risk for car crashes, particularly at night and during the first few months without adult supervision. Checkpoints is a free one-hour educational program held monthly at the Jessamine Career and Technology Center in Nicholasville. It will help you help your team be safer when they become a new independent driver. For more details, including program incentives and how to register, visit the Jessamine County Health Department's website at jessaminehealth.org. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 Bypass. For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Football from Glycod. Tonight's most outstanding players presented by State Farm Insurance agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Uh, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. So uh, for those, we will turn to Coach Gary Satori. Well, I'll tell you what, this <clears throat> you always want to go. I'm an offensive line coach by heart, played offensive line. You always want to go there first. But i tell you what, let's go with, let's go with Crittenden County and, you know, 26, Barry, the linebacker, you know, he just constantly played tough. Yep. You know, you got to go ahead and just give him all the credit. But I think number 10, the, uh, the, the quarterback, Micah Newcomb, uh, I just have to give him the player on Crittenden County. Then you would flip it over to Holy Cross. That's a tougher call, isn't it? Yeah, I tell you, you know, watching them last year, coaching against them, Ballard, my gosh, what a stud. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he's just a beast. He's a beast at linebacker. He's a beast at running back. And then you got Perry, the quarterback that can do it all. But I'm going to go with number seven, Hardingston. I Hard, think. Yep, Hardesty played Hardesty. a heck of a game. Yes, he did. Uh, the man has wheels. He can catch it. He's an all-around player. I saw him and on, on defense. What a hit sometimes. Yep, yep. So, you know, that's my two right there. All right. Well, there you go. So, uh, Mike, uh, Micah Newcomb for Crittenden County and uh, Jace Hardesty for the uh, uh, Holy Cross Cougars. 
Well, and that, uh, that pretty much does it. Those are tonight's most outstanding players presented by State Farm Insurance Agent Bryant Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And uh, just all I can tell you about next week, folks, is check out Glycod.com. We will have uh, up as the week goes on what our schedule may be next week. If we are able to bring you some of those uh, semifinal games, we will certainly – do so, and just like tonight, probably have several games going across the state of Kentucky. Well, uh, any final thoughts as we wrap this one up, uh, Coach? Uh, just fantastic working with you again. I know it was the first game of the year. We got to work together, and it's always fun seeing you. And I tell you, I knew that the third round we're going to see some great football, and I wasn't disappointed. I just saw some two really good football teams. I knew uh, coming in, I was like, oh, the quality – of coaching yep. is there and the quality of players was there all right well uh, as we wrap things up i've got a whole lot of people a whole lot of people to thank uh, first i want to say uh, thank you to uh, danielle Wiegant, the uh, president of uh, holy cross for uh, helping us bring this uh, to you tonight and for her time she spent with us at halftime i want to say a big thank you to uh, kent fouché the uh, ad at holy cross for his hospitality and help. Also, best wishes to his dad for a speedy recovery. Uh, want to say uh, uh, hello, uh, or excuse me, and want to say uh, thank you to Cole uh, Wiegand for uh, running the camera for us. And uh, uh, want to thank Jeff Cooper, uh, our uh, on, on-site producer running the computer for us. Uh, Gary Satori, our analyst tonight. I'm Dr. Todd Carter, and... Uh, Holy Cross, I'm sorry, before I could sign off or thank Steve Bird, uh, Jeff Cooper tells us that uh, Holy Cross plays Raceland next Friday uh, night in the, uh, in the semifinals at Raceland. So uh, that will do it uh, for us tonight. Uh, again, uh, executive producer was Steve Bird. I'm Dr. Todd Carter saying uh, thank you, God bless, and good night, everybody. From Glycod, this has been R.J. Corman's Central Kentucky High School Football. R.J. Corman Railroad Group in Nicholasville, serving the railroad industry since 1973. Tonight's game was also brought to you by Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance Agents Sean Atkinson and Kyle Rowe, big on commitment. Cartown Kia in Nicholasville, movement that inspires. The Jessamine County Health Department, jessaminehealth.org. The Prescription Pad, your local pharmacy in Nicholasville. Elite Building Products, for all your window, door, and signing needs. CHI St. Joseph Jessamine, and Citizens National Bank. For schedule information about our upcoming broadcast, visit our website, glicod.com. Facebook and Twitter at Glycod. We thank you for tuning into this live sports presentation from Glycod.